Ah, good morning, race fans, and welcome once again to the fifth annual 24 Hours of Lermans here on the, uh, well, actually broadcasting for the second time out of the uh, Crystal Gondola, the Palatial Main Tilt Studios here in beautiful downtown Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I am your uh, initial driver, crew, chief, what, master. It's, it's early. <laughs> folks and it was a it was a late night getting things set up because uh we had a bit of a crash earlier in the week uh with some graphics card so that caused me to need to reinstall everything from scratch so i'm 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 glad we're here then we are set up and we are ready to race and i am so excited for this year because uh We've made uh, some some pretty significant changes to the setup here. Um, I'm doing it from the living room. We're doing it on the big, uh, the big OLED screen. Things are gonna be fun there. We have some new equipment here um, for the uh, for, for the wheels. If, if the uh, as, as you know, uh, we, we've done some work on them. Uh, in the past on uh, episodes of Tinker Tater at Solder Fry, we've uh, put in a nice big leather wheel here. We've got a button box to the side that you can't see, that I probably should have thought about. And a big old A-frame piece of metal to get everything hooked together in a nice, clean way. Uh, so the, the physical setup is better than it's ever been. More ergonomic, more, uh, more comfortable, and uh, just all around good. Uh, but we have also expanded upon this year's entry list of cars. Uh, we should probably go off, uh, oh, the wheel is throwing off the autofocus. Good to know I'm going to fix that right now so that autofocus doesn't ever happen. Configure video. Oh, thank you so much everyone for your, uh, for your supports. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get through those, uh, those subs throughout the day as we go here. Um, and yeah, for those of you not in the know, the 24 hours of Le Mans is a, uh, a annual, 24-hour endurance race that showcases some of the highest levels of, uh, of automotive uh, design because the cars are built not just for speed and agility, but in fact for the ability to run for up to 20, well, ideally 24 full hours of, of, of racing. The idea being that we want to, we want to uh, drive as far as possible in those 24 hours rather than necessarily be the first person across the finish line. So this year, uh, we're going to attempt to do something similar. Let's, let's, let's set ourselves over to the, uh, to the board here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, you may have noticed some stuff in the back there, uh, but let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, what, what's the race is going to be this year. Hmm. Assetto Corsa is the, the software of choice for, uh, for the, the 24 hours of Lermans because it allows us for the most fun in terms of, uh, in, just in terms of, uh, wackiness that we can do. So, <clears throat> let's start with this, this year's car. Uh, this year's car, we've got ourselves the Renault Turbo 5R, and, uh, we've done some modification to it. Uh, we've got, of course, some sponsorship from Eggmelt. Uh, they've, Eggmelt's always been a great sponsor. Uh, Tilty House, of course, is a sponsoring this year. The Loading Ready Run uh, sponsorship remains for uh, an untold amount of time. And we've had uh, quite a bit of a uh, contribution over the years from Texan Racing. So we've uh, decided to add them to the sponsor list as well. Uh, car number is 80, because <clears throat> that's my birth year. And I think that's that's a good one. Uh, but this car was chosen because I was thinking about the cars that I like to drive. Uh, and I kind of got thinking about what's the car that got me into autosports in the first place. And that would be the Lancia Delta Integrale. Uh, thanks to, well, that's th thanks to, uh, the first, uh, not a set of course, a game. Forza game for the Xbox and hill climbs. So I gave that a try drove it around a bit and thought, you know, let's, let's, let's try some that's contemporary. So I tried the Audi Quattro, didn't quite uh, live up to my expectations, tried doing some stuff with the, uh, uh with, with the, uh, uh, BMW M3s, uh, in, in uh, the E60 era, it didn't quite tweak me right, quite right. And then I tried the Renault 5 Turbo R and I fell in love, especially with the interior, but we'll get there. So let's just quickly go down the line here while we, we have a second. Uh, yes, we have our bathtub being uh, driven by Anne Murray of Canada because, uh, I mean, there's, there, there's a hippo in my bath, right? Uh, the racing mower will be driven by Bobby, uh, representing the United States. The buses of Desert Bus make a return with Alpha Flight, Dawn Guard, Night Watch, Omega, and Zeta in their Orion 7NG drifts. 
uh, we have a, uh, a showing from the Renault 5 Turbo that I figured we should race against. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> crewed by members of uh, the, the uh, white base out of uh, the uh, European, uh, not European Union, the Earth, the Earth Defense Forces. We got uh, Captain Bright, Mirai, Amaro, and uh, Char in a red Turbo 5. That seems interesting. Quattro Bugina is coming in in the Audi Quattro Sport because I figured we'd have to uh, keep that in the mix as well. And uh, we've got a cattle. Ah, President Burbs here. In the Cadillac DTS presidential limousine. Uh, are we turning them to buses in the aggression? Absolutely not, random trivia. Uh, Toyota Heiss is back. The Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister will be representing Toontown. Sabine is here, uh, in, represented by a 93 Aero Turbo by Saab. Uh, running down the list here, just so we uh, quickly get through it. Uh, Honda Acti uh, 2, the tiny truck, uh, will be representing truck with truck. The Lancia Delta Integrale 16 valve spoiler edition uh, will be driven by the Xbox Hill Climb team because, uh, well, that's where they're... <laughs> Dance with whom brought you. We'll be uh, driving a Cadillac Eldorado, uh, hot pink, dri driven by Ronald McDonald of McDonald Land. Uh, the 2x4 plate will be driving the Lego car uh, as part of the town set. Ford F 350 flatbed from Bumper Farms of Innsburg. Uh, the Crown Victoria Police X Police Interceptor, uh, 2010, in vibrant white, uh, driven by Oman's Romance, representing Loading Ready Run. A Ford Transit uh, will be uh, in Royal Mail livery, will in fact be uh, driven by Postman Pat. Uh, we've got the, well, we've got a DeLorean. Uh, Marty will be driving that. Uh, truck. Is uh, team truck is filled out by a Fiat Farino. Goro Majima will be driving uh, my my mini Goro from last year, representing Japan. Hopefully that'll turn out well for us all. Uh, and a, we have uh, Ben Grimm in a Volkswagen 1973 Thing, representing Ireland. Uh, Mr. Initial D will be driving a Toyota E86, while Gandalf the White will be represented by a white Pontiac Fiero GT. 1988 edition, which is, I think, the closest we could find uh, to a, a Pontiac Solstice. Not Solstice. Uh, it's it's early. <laughs> oh, Pontiac uh, convertible Sundance. Sunfire. That's it. Not the Sundance. Sunfire. Uh, geez, we're getting close to the time here. Uh, AutoZam is driven by AutoZam. The GMC Vandura, representing uh, Innsberg. Derek makes his return there. Uh, tr Team Truck has a standard Honda Acti uh, following up on the grid. Ryozaki will be attempting this uh, this run in their uh, Toyota Tonero forklift, uh, whereas Toot will be driving the Volvo Super Olympian uh, double-decker bus for Sweden. And of course, uh, Corey will be driving a banana. I, you know what? Let's let that. Let's let her dis uh, discover uh, why she's in the race here. And uh, hold on a second. A set of course. Uh, show names. Yeah. Driver names. Control L. I think is the one we want. Yes. Bringing up bringing up keyboard shortcuts here, just so I can. Uh, be ready to go. And of course, uh, uh, Sexto Boloeca, my, my own personal Char Astemal, uh They stole it from Gundam name. Uh, representing Unity. Uh, and then, of course, we're coming up in the rear in our own turbo. So, uh, let's get ourselves... Uh, wow, I had the lyrics to, to going the distance set up there on the... <laughs> I'm ready to go. Okay, here we go. Uh, Control L will bring our names up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that said, we should probably hit the go button because this takes a second to load. Uh, but uh, we're going to start at 7 a.m. our time here so that... Uh, no, you know what? We're going to do it at 1600 so it's real time in the place that is France. 1600. Ah, no, that's 0100. 1600. 4 o'clock. Francy France. Uh, go! All right, here we go, friends. I'm excited. Let's get these uh, real ones. It's almost on the rolling start. Rolling start? Well, guess what? We don't do a rolling start here because that would be uh, sensible. Oh, shit. Um, didn't quite think about headphone 
cables. Uh, we are on not real weather. We're going to be on a weather plan that I need to uh, turn on in just a second here. Okay. Things are going. Uh, audio? Oh no. Oh no. Audio is no good. Okay. Uh, we might need to catch up here in a second. Soul, where's your weather plan? Soul planner, go ahead. Play. You know what? No! Load. Ah, there we go. Yes. And load. What? No preset slot. Aha, here we go. We have some things and the race is off on that end. Uh, and I need to go find out what happened to my audio because I can't hear anything. <laughs> okay, here we are. Don't look here, that's good. And we forget to audio there. Can you hear me? Can you hear anything here? No, we've got uh, no pedals either. No pedals. Well, that's uh, not gonna be good. You also can't hear the game, that helps? Yeah, that does. Well, that, does, that doesn't help anyone, but... Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we had a... Well, we're gonna have a false start here on the... Oops, that's gonna kill that. Okay, now I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. Bling, 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 bling. Yep. Close that. Okay, let's try that again. Why no sound? Make sure that my... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Settings. Audio. I bet it's opening to the wrong... Yep, sending to the wrong place. You need to go into uh, the input of voice meter. Now we'll go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's only a partially uh, full start. We're only two, two minutes behind. Uh, so we calculated this out to 200 laps because that's the maximum that it allows. So once we get to 200 laps, uh, we'll have to figure out where we, uh, live. Uh, where to start and, uh, how to calculate that in. Who knows? We'll find out. All right. There's the sound. Uh, where is our, yep, yeah, preset two, preset one. There we go. And we are off. And by off, I mean we are moving in a direction that is, well, others are moving. And our, we have completely de demolished our, uh, well, great, back to the pits. Where, hello pedals, hello pedals. Okay, something's up here. My apologies, this is... It, you, you think that uh, everything's gonna be fine and then you wake up in the morning and... Uh, and turning off the TV apparently kills everything. All right, settings, controls. Do you see my sim pedals? You do not see my sim pedals. Oh boy, okay, one second. Control. Sim pedals, yeah, there you are. You exist. Ah, but you're not responding. Well, that's the problem. One second. Actually, everything gets plugged in by a single connector these days. There's the sim pedals. Okay, let's hope that that did the job. Content manager, take me home. To the place I belong. <laughs> Five minutes behind, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. No problems at all. Do you see my pedals? You do! Hey! We can get there. Let's quickly drive, drive, drive! 16.05, haha. -ha. Keeping it accurate. And quite frankly, no one, ow. If I don't get the start, no one gets to start yet. Plus it gives me a chance to finish my coffee before it goes completely cold. Gun the mug, y'all. <laughs> Problem is the USB was plugged in backwards. Yeah, it's, that happens sometimes. 
There's the sound. Uh, and let's make sure to load our weather. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in just a second. We might as well let Rio have a second here to uh, figure out their own life. So as you can see, uh, this is a heck of a car interior. Ooh, wow, that's a loud sound. Now the driver's names? Ah, wrong, <laughs> wrong button, wrong keyboard. Driver name's on! Great! I think we're off! Okay, I think I'm gonna turn down the audio just a bit here. Ooh, wow, we're already... Already encountering... Combustion? No, not combustion. Congestion. Hey, it's Toot! That is a large bus. Man's romance seems to be having some issues maybe with their tires. We'll see how that goes. Of course they are a, uh, they are not a member of uh, we don't have flags in for team loading ready runs so we'll have to make do with the Assetto Corsa badge on that. I'm... I don't have high hopes for the man's romance this year, unfortunately. Let's take this as a good warm-up lap, because as we remember, if it's not a clean lap, it doesn't count against us for our splits. Okay, woo! I haven't put on any driving shoes today, too, so I'm... Or slippers, for that matter. I might have to get those later. Because uh, there's already a fight between hot and cold right now in this apartment, thanks to these lights. So yeah, we're looking at five, uh, five gears right now for this. We've turned as, as is tradition. Uh, oh, here we go. First member truck. As a tradition, we've turned off penalties, because otherwise we'd just be seeing penalties forever. Who's driving the balloon? Well, Wellbog, I'd like to think that Richter's up there in his beautiful balloon. Hey, here we go. Auto Zam. And our friend Benjamin Grimm. This track doesn't have the chicanes? No, it, it absolutely does have the chicanes, uh, Rio Kimura. They're right here. Here's chicane number two. We're coming up on Postman Pat. And his blue and red cat. Led only by Marty. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. That's not going to ruin our lap. Touching is fine. Touching, a little bit of touching is fine. Oh, boy. Got to jam on the brakes and catch up with Mr. Initial D. Looks like Nightwatch might have had a bad situation there. We just passed someone else on the sideline. That may have been Anne Murray. I'll be quite sad to see Anne Murray out of the race so quickly, but... Last year's participant, Goro Majima. In Ian's signature... Mini. 
This does make a, a glorious sound, even if it is simulated. And in fact, probably the wrong sound. I'm not entirely sure of the provenance of this model. It looks stunning. It drives nice. And friends, we made it! Get, get! Just in time to pass this clown. Ooh. And the crowd erupts. Uh, we've got some new, uh, oops, some new information in the bar at the top, uh, which should calculate the amount of fuel I, I require for various things. Hey, team truck! This is the, uh, be it, I believe. Ooh, and it certainly is, uh, dancey. See so if we can get around it there. Good! And Farmer Bumper, Bumper Farms. Don't know why Bumper Farms appears to be... What is that, the Polish flag? Anyway. Those ones are out. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Do not adjust anything, Ian, while you are currently in the state of driving. Wait until the chicanery. Ooh. Spanish flag. Okay, that's good. So yes. Okay, so we do have uh, up here uh, leaders required, leaders top, leaders remaining, leaders per lap, laps left for... Okay, so this is good. We can say how many laps do we have left of fuel? This is lap 2 of 200, and there's our splits! We finally have data! Oop. I think I forgot to turn off penalties. We are going to see penalties. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, no! 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 Don't lose it! Ah, hell. This is what you get for reading the chat and, uh... Thinking about people with spreadsheets. Yes, unfortunately this year we do not have a spreadsheet due to... Uh, no, I did not fall. I don't know why my watch thought I fell there, but I did... F but that was a, uh, notification from Siri saying, Hey, are you okay? I guess it didn't like my shift. All right, let's settle in here. We are here for the long haul. And we're gonna have to make up some, re really make up some time here. Stay off those uh, edges too. They're slippery. No! Dang it, Wellbog. Thanks, Hermatic One. Hey, good morning, Dixon. Things are going well up here so far, and I 
hope they're continuing to go down well down for you as well at the moment. <laughs> You just want to get up and have a good drive, and I think that's kind of the way I'm feeling right now. But we can definitely do that better than that. Yellow flags all over the place! Oh, Nightwatch move? That's That could be good or it could be bad. Um, actually, I have something for this, and it's probably going to become useful right about now. Let's turn on the leaderboard. It said, let's turn on the, the leaderboard. The leaderboard. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna go to the pits in a second here. So I can get that running. I had a leaderboard and everything. Gant. Good old Gant, good old Gant, good old Gant and his black and white pants. Oh, 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 it's one, it's a loud boy. <laughs> Now, I would contend that had James had this during a road quest, the entire outcome of the, uh... Well, any of the races would have been in a serious contention. He... Wow. Yeah, that, that deserves a penalty. 35 kilometers. My Tominox, I would like some more coffee, but I'm gonna have to definitely uh, wait until Cory arises before I get that, I think. Or I'll have to take an extended pit stop. Speaking of which, we've missed our chance to pit there, but we'll get it. Uh, Dark Morpher, we are using the paid version of uh, Content Manager. I figured three to five dollars, depending on uh, when you bought it. That's well worth the money. Re oh, you're making it! You're doing it! I'm so proud of you! Yeah! Glance at the chat. That's always a bad idea. Oh, this is gonna be fun to see. Hey, Toot, is, 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 you, is your butt okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. Your butt is not okay, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it's... It looks stable-ish. Here's the fun thing about the, uh, yeah, the Assetto Corsa AIs really like to stick to the ideal line and, uh, don't always know how to overtake properly, which means you get situations like that. But, yeah. I'm not sure how, uh, how sustainable your ride is there. And the setup is treating me fantastically. We got, uh, I got some work done on the button box to make that now work for us properly. Uh oh, did I completely hose my transmission? Maybe. 
Oh, here comes a reverse penalty. Uh, the circuit does have a name. It is the Cirque de la Sauve. Uh, try them out. I'm certain I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, maybe I'll see if I can do a Twitter post later on about the, uh, the setup uh, text, because I've not only have I attached it to the uh, the GT Omega racing frame, but I've done some serious cable management to make this a much easier thing to to hook up and uh, remove. It's, it's down to one cable, and almost all cabling is uh, connected by a zip strip or Velcro to uh, one of the members. So it is clean and good. Yes, Zopstrops, or uh, Zippity Whiz Bangs, I believe is another approved terminology. Sorry, Connell, I, I, I generally, I'm of both minds. The thing is, I have a, I've had a package of black Zopstrops uh, that I've been hauling around for years, and I thought, you know what? Why am I saving these like they're some sort of precious thing? No, they're meant to be used once, zopped to something that you do not want to come apart, and then uh, destructively disposed of afterwards. Like, honestly, the, the, the correct one is the, is the ratcheted metal strapping. That's above all other options. Do you cut the tails off? Absolutely, that's what helps make it clean. Okay, so that's a steady improvement in time there. Oh, this is my pit reminder. Thank you, Thirsty Kitty. <laughs> How did you know I'd be looking at about that time? God, I keep forgetting that there's a uh, there's a Morse code Gantt in the charts there. Yeah, I am a remembrant of Pit. Do not worry. I will not forget to exit after these lovely, lovely turns. Absolute favorite part of the race. You can skate so effortless now, effortlessly over the tarmac. I could answer, even. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Can I drive without my glasses? I'm not supposed to. I probably could, but I shouldn't. And I'm not going to. I mean, I'll, I'll do it here, but... All right, and... Oops. You know, I never actually confirmed which uh, which scale the speedometer in this thing is. But I think that's, they're marked to 60 miles an hour. Okay, yes, we need to, uh, what the? No, button box not completely working. Okay, we'll have to fix that too. Uh, but I definitely want them to, what the? Let me touch my, let me touch my... There we go. Uh, engine, yes. Suspension, yes. Body, yes. Good. Actually, I need this keyboard right now anyway. So, Man's Romance, yes. Definitely having some issues and probably not going to be much of a racer. Add fuel. Uh, yes. Good idea, actually. Let's add some fuel. Whoops. Maybe, uh, you know, let's go with 20 liters to start with here. Uh, 
that was my pit up. No, there's my pit up there. Okay, and whoop. Okay, and this is where we get an egg melt. Uh, but while we do that, we're gonna go here. Fix that. We're gonna go here. It's a choice to gremlin. And fix that. And then go here. Eh, no. Go back to here. Uh, and... Oh, that's why it's not running. Because uh, Simrace isn't running. Where's my gremlin? Gremlin. Okay. Uh, oh, Rio, you're still going. Keep at it, you, uh, you, you, you crazy diamond. Shine on. Uh, and we need a sim hub. Perfect. Watch that. Was that a forklift? Yes, that was a forklift. And, uh, can we go? Leaderboard? Hey, the leaderboard's up! And so am I! We're ready to go! We didn't change our tires either, but that's okay, because they're still warm-esque. Go, Rio! Hey, actually, I think I'm going to throw that leaderboard back over here. Yay! That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Do not, uh, do not edit your overlay. On stream. That's gonna be a new transmission. Oh hey, it's the it's the Warner brothers and the Warner sister. In the wacko thing. The wacko van, yes, that's it. Holy moly, why is it throwing out fire from its exhaust? Bit more opacities in the leaderboard? I can do that. Hold up. Uh, filters. Filter color correction. Let's go to about 60% opacity. And then tell me if that's acceptable. Yeah, honestly, I think I... Oh! President Burb! What's he saying about that? Yeah, honestly, you could show most of Lermans as a, uh, a cautionary tale to uh, driving schools about the dangers of distracted driving. These presidential limos are pretty quick. But they're not quick enough. Get down, Mr. President. Oh no, this is a feel bad. Okay, they're gonna need to break much harder than I think I am. Oh god! I can be inside the trunk. Go wide. And then get back up on the gas afterwards. Let's see if we can put that limo in our rearview mirror. I'm a little happy with this year's, uh, additional status board up top as it uh, thankfully gives us an odometer and a trip meter, I believe. Which should be useful. We 
We want clean laps, people. Oh, hey, welcome, Sarah. Uh, we haven't done too much crashing yet. It's been pretty clean, I like to think. Ah, there we go. Slightly more comfortable position. Definitely the wrong gear for that. Okay, so we have, uh... So President Bird is uh, ahead of us. By a significant amount, we just went through the presidential limo, everyone. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. First surprise of the day! I think I might have mounted the pedals just a little far away for my own good. Lieutenant Quattro Bagina. <laughs> 35 seconds or below by the end of the current lap. Dang it! Well, are we gonna. I guess we have to obey these, otherwise they're not going to go away. Right, so penalties are going to be the worst part of this year as Mermans, I think. Yay, Jesus. Two, one, thunder, no! You can't even touch the throttle. That is the worst. No, oh well, this is how we become a better driver. So we let the faster cars by. Because we're being blue flagged. Faster car is one of us, too. Amuro! Your native planet is calling for you. <laughs> and Rio is back out of the pits. I have a feeling they're not doing too well at this first corner. Yep, too fast on the gas. Oh, that felt real bad. Yeah, the penalties seem bad for the cars behind me. I mean, I should stay off the, the line when that occurs, but... All right, I was saying there was a mod for... Uh, another mod for a set of course, that I have yet to install that uh, makes the penalties, I think, a bit more... correct, and also uh, models damage and costs of damage. That might be something to look at in the future. Need to tell Corey to turn the penalties off after she PQs. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think she's going to DQ. could have held on to a bit more speed through there. Go team truck! Rock pusher, that's a good point. I don't, I haven't seen the banana yet, uh, and I don't see them in the top lists, do I? Yeah, 
Well, the breaker, that was in fact uh, Ronald McDonald in their uh, hot pink catalog Eldorado convertible. Uh, status of hubcaps unknown, status of headlights unknown. But you know that he's slurping down those big old beef ball burgers from McDonald's with the styrofoam container. Yeah, I'm sure the rock, the, the rock pusher, the banana is going to show up and just uh, smack us off the track as we try to uh, cross the line just at the end. That truck dips. Oh God, we dip. give them a bit more space before I get back in my lane. And we are going to look back on this time of hybrid vehicles with just such disdain. Like, so, so, so why didn't you just swap for electric vehicles? Well, you know... You called it a hybrid? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Why'd you do that? Oh. Mm. I need to learn how to control that back end. Oh yeah, no, I mean, at the time, battery tech was not that great, but let's be honest, we probably could have poured some more money into battery tech earlier than we did. Say, you know, starting in 1970s. paying attention to how driving is occurring. Which is to say, watching the lines ahead and attempting to pick up a little bit of time. Oh, that's a very slippery corner. Or can be, without proper care. Yeah, battery tech would be this is definitely something could still use improvement. I'd like to one day get to the point where we can ship things on airplanes again. Hey, new pier, still best, 534. So the best that I've been able to do on this track is 514 in a Lancia Delta on a clean lap, and I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see the forklift over the, out of the uh, front end area ever. I get the feeling that they don't make it past this corner. Perhaps we can investigate in the future, but here's a good time to get by. Good clean overtake. Too much gas there. Money shifted. Like I was talking with Corey the other day about uh, speaking of, of batteries and especially thinking about lithium ion batteries and the fact that they sometimes spontaneously just disassociate violently in a chemical reaction. Um, I was beginning to wonder, like, when is the critical mass of old batteries going to happen where we start seeing, you know, fires in people's, uh, 
uh, storage units due to old PSPs and iPods just finally popping. Oh, hey! Toot's going fine. They are firmly uh, ass in ground, which I believe is the traditional position for a, uh, a bus. Roadhog 123, the problem, I think, is that uh, one wonders how good people are about uh, their battery hygiene before putting them in storage. Like, I, I doubt people are taking the care to say, okay, well, we've uh, brought the charge down to, what is it, a third? Is, is that the optimal, or is it two-thirds? I think, I seem to remember it being somewhere around there, but that's the optimal storage uh, space or storage uh, charge level for batteries. It's been a while since we've seen a desert bus. And actually, we're just starting to pick up on our... Oh no, did that completely... Yep, that... that uh... That transmission is forfeit. Uh, good. Are we able to get back? No, we are not. So uh, we'll have to test this button to send us directly to Pip Town. Great. And uh, let's have a look at the uh, the leaderboard right now. Right now we're in 21st. Uh, it looks like AutoZam is uh, down. Has anyone retired yet? That's my question. The timetable says, ooh, good timetable. Uh, so yeah, the banana has yet to make a lap, a man's romance has yet to make a lap, and Rio has yet to make a lap. That, to me, says uh, not... That does not bode well for the banana. That said, the racing mower just uh, pitted in be behind us, which is a little bit surprising. 20 liters looks like that's two laps. That's not a lot. down and see the chat talking about or uh, giving lessons in what a transmission is and does. Love it. Okay, Nat, next next step we need to take people through the uh, the inner workings of a differential. Probably don't need to shift there, but do absolutely need to ye cutting. Now let's get out, out of the way. And we'll give them, give them their one second. I will sacrifice my one second of flesh towards the race director. Who, by the way, I do not believe is doing a good job. I guess in the end, what I am trying to do here is really recreate Blaze Ball in auto racing. Oh boy, Bobby! I'd forgot it was Bobby Hill. Young Bobby Hill on the uh, racing mower. Glad Hank finally let him have a try. Sonny Jesus, I mean, thank you, first of all, for uh, coming by to watch this particular stream live. If you watch all of it, that's 24 hours. That's like watching eight regular streams of her. <laughs> if you catch the whole thing. Good God, that, that mower is a monster.
can we keep up with it? Can we dance? <laughs> well, Sunny, thank you. I, I, I'm glad I got, uh, got the pronunciation right. It seems I'm able to do it uh, right the first time for some people, and then usually never again. So, my apologies if I've already forgotten. <laughs> But yeah, extremely rare because this is the uh, this is the only lure stream that happens once a year. I mean, the only regularly scheduled lure stream that occurs once a year. Oh, my rival! Char! I mean, definitely not a char. That's a dangerous place to be. Okay, I'm gonna bleed some speed off earlier than they do and hopefully catch him in a turn. Well, by catch I mean approach them and then very quickly, ooh. Didn't blip enough. 30,000 parts in each automobile. That's a very interesting number. <laughs> oh, hey! Weather's happening! It's a thunderstorm. I did that. I mean, I didn't personally make it happen right now, but I, I, I did that with the power of soul. Okay. Be a little more feathery with your throttle there, Ian. Remember that digital racing is the way of the Sith. Use all your throttle and whatnot and other. That. Whoa! So I guess that's the way you do it. Uh, jeez. Damn, we're really making a go at uh, Quattro there. We have some interesting flavor, I think. Some me thinks in the uh, in the leaderboards. Forklift off the pit lane again. You know what? If Rio never stops trying, special, ooh, special kudos to them. One, zero. Yeah, you really count that whole zero, don't you, race director? Cone without, I, I think what's happening is I'm missing some of my clutches. Oh, Cranach, I believe it does have the, uh, it has plenty of fuel for, a oh wait, God, I hope it does. It should have plenty of fuel. We got an achievement! I don't know why. You should have already got that. That was a demo. That song plays in my head. That song lives rent free in my head, let's be honest. <laughs> I was, uh. And, and it is intimately tied with the, uh the anime music video uh, featuring the Speed Racer. Uh, like, a lot of people say that the best and... It's a tie. 
there are two best anime music videos. Uh, the Asuka Neon Genesis Evangelion video featuring Engel by Rammstein and Cakes Going the Distance. But I'd been uh, listening to Blank Check recently and they'd uh, going back through their back catalog with Griffin and David. Uh, don't know what to say or what to expect, but the, all you need to know is the name of the show is Blank Check. Uh, anyway, they, uh, they, they've been doing a series on the Wachowskis and uh, they got through their Speed Racer review. God, I'd forgotten how much I love that that movie. I need to track down a Blu-ray of that because any form of uh, streamed or uh, truck-based media is just oof. It's gonna be blocky as hell. Oh, Andreas has got the video on on cue. I mean, not that I'm gonna be able to watch it. Not that I should be watching it, and not that I should be playing it on stream either, because that'll just, uh, that'll cause more... You know what? Let's just close that window. Let's just not worry about that. <laughs> and let's uh, also get our eyes back on chat. I mean, by chat, I mean, uh, on the road. Definitely on the road. Get, get, everybody! thing gets up to 88 miles an hour, we're gonna see some shit. Could be a while, though. Oh yeah, Texan, I'm not sure if you're still in the chat there, but uh, this is the first time I actually installed uh, the shift gators, because that's uh, the first time I'm locked into a single type of car for a long time, and they're great. Great gators. Keeping me nulled out of six and seven. Indicating a great hole to put reverse in. Not even once. Oh, hey, Anubis, welcome. Have we DQ'd yet? Absolutely not. Oh, Bobby's back to the pits. And I have... Well, that transmission is really uh, taking a thrashing. More so than usual, I wonder I wonder if... Hey, was that a forklift? I think that was a forklift. Hello, Ronald McDonald! <laughs> oh, that thing sounds ridiculous. I think I literally heard it flatulate at me as I approached it. I can't believe that the, uh, an interior... God damn it! Oh, contact! No, that's a... That's a bad miss. Yeah, the sound of white noise, the, uh, the forklift is top-heavy and has bad, bad tires. Master 7525, unfortunately, no, a lot of uh, forklifts are propane powered. So, I mean, if it weren't, uh, if Bobby weren't on the, uh, the riding mower, you'd know that they'd probably be right at home on the, on the forklift. Anubis, we are in the Renault 5 Turbo. Thankfully, the answer to which car uh, is right there. 
Uh, there, yes, on that side, in the middle of the dash. And I was just going to go off on uh, on the interior of this thing, how much I love it and how much I'd love to see something this lasery again. Like it feels like I'm driving the 80s, but in the best possible way. Get you later, Red Shoes Jeff. Enjoy the film, enjoy the farmer's market, stay safe. That van is just way too fast. I honestly wonder if I made a mistake in that, uh, including it as a joke. Ooh! Just avoided the contact there. I mean, random trivia, I personally just like uh, fuel cell based forklifts and also everything else out there. Fuel cell all the things. Hit for fuel and repair. I mean, yeah, we've got 1.6 laps left, and this is a. Uh, back to thunderstorms. Absolutely beautiful. I, I just really wanted to feature weather on this particular stream. Oh, oh no. This is starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit out of hand, I want to say. Uh, so yeah, add that um, compound. You know what? Give us some more new... No, no tires. Uh, and repair all things. Back to the pits. Uh, and yeah, let's get going. Yeah, it might be an issue with the, uh, the timing of the shifts. Ooh, collisions could be? Yeah. Run trivia, we do have instant pits, but that's uh, considered a tow back to the pit. And I believe that actually gets added to your lap time. As you can see, our lap time is now five minutes. We don't get splits on this one either. On the outlap. All over the place. I don't believe I'm double clutching on this thing. Certainly haven't been doing any heel towing. Can I turn transmission damage off? I can, but rather than that, I'd like to figure out what I'm doing which is causing that. And just avoid it. What if I need to pee? Well, Art of Raniel, that's, uh, that's what going back to the pits is for. Hello, Autozam. Goodbye, Autozam. Embernio, no, I do not have uh, actually any car, oops, racing gloves. Uh, I've got a pair of uh, gloves that go along with my racing leathers, which, ooh, yeah, that's, see, that's what happens, that's what does it, is shifting before I end up depressing the clutch. 
which is definitely going to cause some problems for a uh, for any sort of a transmission. Okay, now we see what happens with aggression and lines and overtaking. Oh, Anne Murray, you're back in the race. Wait, why is Anne Murray racing for France? Transmissions no like the no clutch shift. Man, Murray, you gotta brake faster. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up in sand like that every time. Okay, and there's Postman Pat. Other delivery truck uh, companies are available, but I didn't feel like giving any free advertisement to UPS or uh, FedEx. Oh, this is good. This is good. I was very worried we wouldn't see Nightwatch again, that its, uh, it's appearance on the side of the road was a sign of bad tidings. Yeah, Craddock, you're you exact. You're entirely correct about shifting without clutching, but it takes a knowledge of the transmission and gear timing points. It's kind of a uh, kind of a dark art and something I'd love to know how to do. But I've heard a number of stories of people limping home, uh, shifting without clutches. Yeah, you can go by noise. You can go by noise or by number, but you still need to know when it happens, because if you get it wrong, you're going to hear <coughs> and a lot of it as you try and force that gear in. Three point five gear. <laughs> oh no! That was just. I mean, this entire lap's been a bit of a, a bit of a joke. But we are getting blue flagged because uh, there's some speedy boys behind us that want by. So let's let them. I don't feel like I don't feel good about getting lapped by Lieutenant Quattro, but. Here we are. Oh, no, it's just the bus that wants by. What position are we in? That's a good question. Uh, we're on lap 90 of 200. Hey, Rio, keep going. We're in 36th point. Uh, I don't think we're in the top 18 because I don't see us there. But we've been hitting the pits quite a bit, because uh, that's how this wacky race kind of goes. Yeah, the forklift's tires are just terrible. There is a... Uh, tractions? No. That's a better line for that particular pass. And that, that puts us at 12 seconds under our fastest time. Oh, he rides it all the way up the stack. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. 
any attention. Yep. There you are, Mr. Initial D. Ooh, 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 ooh. Checking statistics while driving. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Nice clean exit there. Passed by Mr. Benjamin Graham. Do the same to Amaro, and we are on the way. All right, start braking. Very hard. Get on the power. This is fun. <laughs> Hearing those similar engines go like that is, oh, okay. I get down to the right gear there. Okay. And. Punch a chewy. Let too much space get through there. I was not confident in that corner at all. Sandwich. Mitchell are pounding. Mitchell brow sweating. Mitchell. There's a first time for everything. Derek, you're back on the track. Well done. gonna ruin that lapse time and potentially our splits here's your penalty now that you're back on the track takes us almost the perfect amount of time for the uh, for that forklift to make it as far as it makes it and then goes back to the pits gets repaired comes out I'm really tempted next time to just kind of follow it and see uh, how well it does Someone's calling. Someone's putting a uh, putting money down on a failed transmission this lap.
know how flimsy this particular steering wheel is, IRL. It's probably got some flex to it, but... Whew. Bit of a nail biter there, but got it around. Yeah, it doesn't really show too well here, but the steering wheel is only connected by, at one point. It's one of the things I love about this particular wheel. Not the one I'm using, the one that's in the car. With the big orange oval. The only thing that's a little bit odd is that uh, I've got the uh, shift stick set up on the left-hand side. As if this was for, for a right-hand drive car. Because that's what I'm used to these days. It's probably a bit too... Uh, a bit too... Uh, that's the word. Smooth. I mean, too smooth? Is there such a thing? I say the nay. Goodbye, Fiat. And yes, welcome to any new arrivals who are just joining us. Or what is our, I want to say... Hold it! Oh, no. Dang it. Perfect position. I need to learn how to hold this particular car through a spin because it's not. Yep. The hour is correct. Well, then we are in into hour two. Yeah, once you're in a spin that's unrecoverable, let go of the wheel is the I understand the correct advice to avoid having your thumbs broken off by the forces. What do you say? Shall we, uh... So, shall we pit and get ourselves another number? Wow, that's a lot of dip on that truck. I see Derek's got a roll cage installed. Safety on that boy is uh, not to be, not to be missed. Physically enter the pits. Sometimes the neck effects get a little bit. Uh, so it's currently set up to glance at the apex, camera-wise. But when you're going through the pits, sometimes it gets a little confused. Okay, uh, and yes, 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 and give me, I don't know, 40 liters? Yeah. Tires are probably good for another bit. That cop car is the wrong cop car. Go, 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 Rio! I'm gonna follow you this time. Beep, plot. Okay. And uh, let's hit a button here for no reason. 
Oof. Oh, stretch a bit. So yeah, you can see here uh, the 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 way that that steering wheel works. You've got that uh, one point in the bottom, L-shaped to the side, and a little bit of a uh, thumb hole there again for you to stick your thumb in and uh, and die. All right, let's uh, let's see what's up with Rio because our this lap is already is already forfeit. Yeah, Pixel Art Dragon, I'm pretty sure that uh, what's causing this forklift to fail is bad tires, making it imp nearly impossible for it to uh, properly make a turn. We can also see if I can figure out where our... Uh, or what our position is. There we go. We're 24th. We all saw that, right? That that just all happened to us in the middle of this thunderstorm. The, the forklift just disappeared. Okay. That's the spooky. That's the spookiest. Transmission is already yellow. That's that's great. That's great. Oh, it's not the first time this has done so. Good to know. I mean, it's probably probably fair to guess that this is what's been happening the whole time. This forklift has been dead for twenty years. God damn it. <laughs> when you need to deliver some pallets directly to the Phantom Zone. Choose the interdimensional fork. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a maybe the forklift is also a time machine, but it only has to get up to eight miles an hour. And there's no fire. Oh boy, that was too much. Leading cars are just given a warning in the real race. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, we've got. Uh, we haven't seen this yet. Two by four plates in the uh, in the Lego Roadster. And break. does that thing move? Oh, of course it moves. They're in second place. Probably doesn't need fuel either, let's be honest. No, no. Mr. Initial D was my father. Call me D's nuts. There we go. I mean, the sheer scale of that Lego car is what I find most amazing. Ooh, okay. Bring it down. Probably be higher up in the revs there for that turn, I think. This one is just absolutely a second gear turn based solely 
on how many cars there are right now. And this might, might just be the, uh, the first appearance of Omega Shift that I've seen today. hold on to our dreams our dreams being just simply not getting any penalties money shift there Good. Uh, the category says 24 to 37 because that is our current, uh... <clears throat> that is our current position. Uh, you can see up, I decided to change that particular slot because if you see at the very top of the screen, uh, 16 out of 200 is the number of laps that remain. Or we're on 16 out of 200 laps because that's the most pat laps we can have. And that should take us almost to 24 hours. Okay. We are now 23rd place and have uh, made up some time. Feeling good. Money. Mm. Even when you be sniffing fumes just a bit too closely. Earthman, I think we I think we started with 32 to 30 34 cars, I think was the number. a good a good smooth chicane <laughs> have we gained cars hmm maybe I got that number wrong he says realizing that yes the number of cars that is currently there uh, is on the screen and he put it there Never, never look to the side to check chat unless we are on a full straightaway and you are pointed ahead. I mean, if there's any two cars on, on the field right now that are gonna get down and bone, you know it's Mirai and, uh, and Sharn. <laughs> and Bright, oh boy. I hate it when this game makes me question my own 
mortality like that. Collision shouldn't be off, but sometimes a car just doesn't have a collision model, I guess. You ever just slide through a Cadillac Eldorado kind of sideways? Because... Yeah, the lightning isn't help, helping the mood right now. Can we, can we get around Nightwatch easily? Yes, we can. I'm gonna try and stay in third gear here because it gives me a bit more uh, throttle to play with in the power zone. Power zone, power zone, whoops. Oh. <laughs> Just do that! I don't know what to tell you. Count to three like anyone else can, race commissioner. Yeah, that's a very good point, Ugon. Uh, that uh, McDonald's isn't real and can't hurt us. Even though they are our next target in terms of. Uh, in terms of climbing up the ranks. Prepare for a Sailor Moon. Our next target is babies. Am this car okay? Like, I think it needs to go... I think that car needs to go see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Whatever is inside those pipes looked at. Jesus, Earth One. McDonald's car is a drive through. Mm. Comedy points there. You get a non zero amount of comedy points for that. Yeah, that, see, that was me not depressing the clutch fully before a shift. That's what caused that to occur. Is the non-zero amount of positive or negative? Good questions. I will leave that as an exercise to the viewer. Yee! Woohoo! Just avoided that particular nonsense with the Autozam. I love me an Autozam, but unfortunately, it just didn't have enough power to compete with uh, the buses, which is kind of why I settled on the Renault. Or Renault. If you're uh, from certain English-speaking regions. Truck! Oh, Rock Pusher! Didn't notice you uh, heading out the door there. Hopefully we caught your goodbye.
boo that turn. The Renault, Renault, Reynolds, Renault. Hey, get one of them Renault five turbos there, eh? Heck of a car. Just wish they'd make them instruction manuals in English, you know? So as Yanks can work on them. You know, we always call ourselves Yanks. That's how you know it's an American movie. The Americans call themselves Yanks. Yanks, of course, being a uh, portmanteau of uh, Yankee Frankenfurter. It's a. Uh, or. or, or Yankenfurter, as the case may be. That's a, that's a little term they uh, coined on to Mr. Kennedy, I believe it was, who said that. He said, he said, Kennedy is the only one who can go to Berlin. And and that was true at the time because there was a, well, there was an embargo on presidents. Really, no presidents, no kings, only Stalin. And, uh, and, and we liked it that way Un until I mean, until you were under Stalin's rule, in which case, well, things were very different. Sorry, free association is starting early today, folks. Whoa, now oh, come on! Let me touch my accelerator. on my belt where well, you can best believe it wasn't an onion, my friend. Goddamn kids with onions on their belts. Well, sure, it's stylish, but is it practical? Not like that codpiece full of shallots. Aromatic. On, let me check my sporn for bullying cubes. And that's why that's where we get the, the turn of phrase a soupy pair of drawers. It's from people keeping bomb roll in their sporn. <laughs> I'm not funny. But sometimes something sneaks through. That's how you do it. Okay, the wear level on our tires is uh, going places. Probably put a bit too much speed off there. Definitely throttled too hard there. Oh, come on, my dude! Forklift is on. Yes, TXC has the right idea there. When a forklift on screen, people should be asking. When forklift isn't on screen, people should be asking, where is forklift? And so on. Oh, almost, almost held on to it. I'm gonna say about that. 
right, right. Yeah, this the fact that we're referencing an old episode of The Simpsons, the, the, the poochy bit with the uh, asking about uh, fork when forklift is on screen or not. Hold on, I'm going to uh, quickly give myself a flip here. It's form. Flip horizontally. Hey, there we go. Now, now when I'm looking at uh, at you, I'm looking closer to you. February 9th, 1997. Wow. But it got me thinking how often uh, people uh, and you know, other comedians and other media properties reference specifically older episodes of The Simpsons like that, and specifically only the older ones. <laughs> and it makes me wonder, at what point are we going to get someone like a writer on The Simpsons inadvertently referencing their own work from 20 years ago? Or has this already happened? Can someone who actually watches uh, The Simpsons or an economist please help my family? Yeah, that back left tire is gonna need a replacement. I'm gonna see if we can get ourselves through one more. One more lap on it. Way too close to the inner of that turn. That was a much better line there. Twenty percent. We might not get through this lap. But it's important to find out. It's also important to beat uh, Farmer Bumper at his own game and uh, make our way up the ranks. One by one. Friends, that's 20. I feel good about that. All right, everyone, uh, say your prayers for Yo Hazaki, Hazuki. And don't forget the break, like I almost did. Uh oh. Only 22 hours, hours left to go. At some very soon point, I might just want to take a break to make myself another coffee. <laughs> Here comes a limo. Oh yeah, 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 we are gonna have a real bad time. These tires are a problem for us. Well, what happens when we completely lose a tire? <laughs> tires are a very no. Any right turn. Well, uh, Kumakori got one of those coming up in just a second here, and so uh, that's, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, right suspension is also uh, looking yellowy and unpleasant. 
we're just got to really really bring it down for these turns. I'm half expecting the car just to explode when it gets to zero. <laughs> okay, now the, the tire is gone completely, apparently. What does that look like from the outside? Hmm. I was hoping for sparks. that corner. Yee! Not keen nor able. Ah! The loops be looping the way you do. Okay. This car is... Slowly uh, falling apart. Keep it together. Just gotta keep it together for the pits. Unfortunately, jumpsuit jock. I think. Oh my God! This is uh, this is nigh uncontrollable. This is a very interesting experience. Just the sheer level of slop and play in this steering is a lot of fun. Oh no! That's not the end for our transmission, but the end is nigh. I might just not shift here. Okay, anytime we can make it to the pits. Under our own power, that is a victory. And I will take it. That said, This is not going to be easy. A little bit of rev matching there. Back rate is at seven. Can we, can we night watch this and just ride our ass into the pit? All oh, right, no, that's right. It was Zeta that had the dragging. Woo! Held it. Annie Laurel, good God. Uh, I have also had a, uh, a, a uh, Canadian tire not properly tighten all of the lug nuts on one of my tires. And thankfully, it was, uh, we were, we were actually, uh, taking a trip to Vancouver. And we caught it just outside of Hinton, because my car was making a sound that was not unlike a heli an helicopter. Okay, we don't need five laps worth of fuel, so let's go with 30 laps. And then, uh, yes, compound me and then repair my body, repair my suspension, repair my engine. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, 30 liters, four laps. Seems to be the good amount. Uh, do we, is there a, a 
button for collisions, because I think... Where's my pit? There's my pit. God, these all look like a young beach. Okay. I don't think we have... Yeah, I don't think we have the ability to do that from pits, unfortunately. That said, I'm gonna go uh, see about turning on some water. I'll be right back. still uh repairs still have not finished <laughs> not quite a break yet okay uh let's get in position here microphones good here we go it's a lot harder to find where the bite point of the uh, clutch is when you're and you don't have any feedback there. Yeah, I think I might need to actually have the, uh... Oh, I should probably be keeping the, uh, car in neutral. While I'm, uh in the pit stop. That's probably what's happening is I'm is it's kicking it back into player control and the clutch is not engaged. Or rather the clutch is engaged when the engine goes on. And that's probably what's causing that initial damage. We'll see when we get back to it. Need eyes in first place. That is not something I expected. There is, in fact, a Fiero. It is uh, our stand-in for the Pontiac Solstice. There it is, Gandalf the White. In 16th place. Ronald McDonald's between us and Majima. That is one of my favorite sentences of the year. Right, Pontiac Sunfire, not Solstice. What's the oldest car this year? That's a good question. It might be the Mini, though technically the Mini is supposed to be a uh, 98, so that's... Oh no, Bug Train, is that one of your mods? <laughs> I mean, cool if so. Uh, in, in that case, that probably means you're, uh, you're not a member of the Loading Ready Run community, in which case you're probably not familiar with Road Quest. Razki, yes, uh, Gandalf was a Sunfire. There are unfortunately no, uh, I wonder why there's no Pontiac Sunfire mods for... Assetto Corsa. Or really, uh, anything? 
somehow it's not a popular car. I don't know why. I, I don't know what to tell you. Whoa, can't. Oh yeah, that is me definitely shifting improperly. Or too quickly, too. Anyway, for those, uh, for those not, uh, looking to read or what, uh, whatnot, the Road Quest was a series that we put together where, uh, six of us from Loading Ready Run, uh, were given an amount of money to spend on a used car that we would then use in an adventure that would be revealed to us, uh, unbeknownst. Uh, so I chose a 90-something Saab 900? Yes. It was, it was the year before it moved to the 9.3. Uh, and then we've got the an old police interceptor, Crown Victoria, and a Pontiac Sunfire because he wanted a a convertible. And yeah, it's it's very it's very Top Gear esque, only with a uh, a group of Canadian comedians who don't swear too much, <laughs> and are definitely not uh, too laddy. That we uh, we go on some adventures up north, or rather from here to north. I, like that's not really a spoiler. It's it's given in the first episode that we're, our job is to go to the Yukon, but what happens in between here and there? Well, that's where the fun is. Take care, Dom Hartford. Good luck. Yeah, there's a lot of good fun. That's right, we don't punch the production crews, we are not racist, nor are we homophobes. I mean, honestly, I don't think we're really anything phobes, except for... I think Ben might be a wee bit arachnophobio. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We're not also alcoholics. No, we're functional. This is fine. Punching bag ass, was there a bus? And I can honestly say that, uh, Yep, looks like there are no collisions here. Dang it! Don't know what happened there. Probably something to do with the, hey, go the distance again. More Chivos. Yeah, it was probably something that I didn't remember to reset when as I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, Thursday, we had a graphics card update that went sideways and took down the entire system. So it was a complete rebuild. Yeah, Megapixels, they aren't, but uh, Frankfully? Frankly. Frankfully. Wow, where did that come from? Uh, frankly, I'm, I, I'm, I'm aiming to not touch the cars anyway. You know, just as good practice. So... Collision's not necessarily something I'm too worried about.
Oh, did we overtake 220? Great! Ryu Himura, it was indeed an NVIDIA update. Actually, honestly, I was I was happy to take a chance to do a clean install to remove things like the uh, NVIDIA game ready bullshit and experience app. Just go with some straight raw drivers for once. Well, that's a transmission. Teleport to pits. Oh, right, so we're in neutral. Let's see if we get the flash. No flash, good. Clutch in, uh, first gear engaged. They've uh, you've done four mods. Nice work. I have been. I, I'm honestly quite happy with. Uh, I'm honestly quite happy with your work. So I will have to go back and uh, look at said credits in there. Oh, even the double decker. Sweet. <laughs> When I saw the double decker, my first thought was, I absolutely need this in the race. And it's been holding on, amazingly. The Super Olympian. <laughs> Kenworth truck. <laughs> Tree, uh, placement is always iffy. Uh, it's never been good. Partially because I don't get much as much practice as I should during the year. Partially because it's a stream and my my attention is very split. Uh, it's never been top ten. It's never been. It might be top half. I think. We've ever done. Uh, Ryu Himura, we are, uh, we have a pipeline directly to the Renault factory that is uh, currently delivering us transmissions, uh, I want to say on the, uh, on the tens. I like to th getting back to the question about where we've placed. I like to think that we do keep getting better year after year. Was the gacha? Gachimuchi car suggested from last year added to this race. I don't think so. Yeah, random trivia. We, we, we had a good run, and then they fell off, and then... Yeah, life happened there. I want to get back to it. I, we, we always say this. And I'm going to try and rein in this talk this year. Hey, here's Goro. Oh. So I'm just, I'm really pleased with uh, the edit jobs to the skin uh, in terms of how close it looks to my actual car <laughs> with all those stickers. Anyway, where was I going with that? Yeah, 
We always talk the uh, about you know doing more driving streams and doing community driving streams. And I think I'd like to try a small series of that first. Because we always we always leave it open open-ended and nothing ever comes of it. Well thank you the Maricat for uh, posting the information about loading ready run there. So what I'm thinking is uh, this year let's uh, I I'd, I'd like to try doing a short series of drives and my thought is that we'll, we will set it to four or you know what let's let's go with three just to make it easy on ourselves and actually that makes it very easy because that means it's September October and then uh, we'll do it again in December and my thought is that we will do a short little track day uh, club and you know we'll announce uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pick three or a we I'll pick three uh, courses and uh, once a month We'll set up a Lure public server, and people who are interested can hop in and out, and we can uh, play around on a track. Okay, you know what? You know what we're gonna do here? You know what we're gonna do? Is we're at the top of an hour. I am actually gonna get up, uh, make myself another coffee, <laughs> and then, and then we might just start this race right over again, turn the collisions on, um, and uh, turn the penalties off, <laughs> and then, oh Christ, okay, um, well, geez, Mirai and Char, and uh, who's up next? Well, let's leave the leaderboard on Well, I... <laughs> Bye, Rio. Let's leave the leaderboard on. We are at lap 28 of 37, uh, and again. Or we were at uh, lap 24 of 200. Now let's go see if we can fix the forklift. We, we can't, unfortunately, fix the forklift, Skyler. Uh, it's not correct. But uh, let's consider that the practice session. I'll update the time too. Anyway, uh, don't go away. More, uh, more, more of the, uh, the stuff after this. Oh, so we are back with more of the 24 hours of Lermans. Uh, we're gonna exit the car. We're gonna turn off penalties. We're gonna turn off, we're gonna turn on collisions. Uh, oh, no, 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 do not replay. Can I save that replay? Sure, keep replay. Great, close. Uh, so we got that for like, for a while. Still not the best lap I've got so far. Uh, let's bring it back the, uh, the race board here. And where is, where can I find collisions? Where is that setting? The tire blankets. Nope, not there. Settings. Let's see here. Let's push the search button. Collision. Collisions. Yeah. Burp, burp. Huh. Where do we hide this setting here? Uh, da, 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 da. Miscellaneous. No. Damage displayer is damage system. Is it erase settings? Thirty six opponents, penalties. Ah, oh, let's see here. Ha <laughs> ha.
all right maybe we should go through some uh some subs here too while we got the time but uh Side content manager. Collisions setting. Hmm. Okay, and the options. So that's probably settings. And if anyone knows, by the way, uh, that would be helpful. Presets per mode, nope. Miscellaneous controls, no. System, maybe. Oh, that's where we were already. Uh, content manager, is there anything in here? Drive. Hmm. Oh, thank you all for the, uh, for, for, for the, the, the thanks. It's, I, I really enjoy doing this particular, uh, stream and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for me and I, I, I wish... <laughs> I wish I hadn't had a crash. It uh, wiped out a bunch of uh, work there. Uh, let's see. Try slash collisions. Is it a CSP uh, thing? Rex configs, general settings, chase for cameras, colorful shading, extra effects, uh, neck FX. Ah. Smart mirror, taskbar, track adjustments, mode tweaks, small tweaks. Collide. AI. There we go. I feel like it should be somewhere there. There's no collisions options. There are none? Okay, good. Then, huh. I guess we're done. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's set our time here. We are now uh, three hours. God, it's been three hours. Oh, 18, 14. Uh, and that seems to be good. It's been two hours? Yes, it's been two hours. I've been awake for three hours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 17, 15. All right, let's push the button. Penalties are off, uh, so we are good to go. We should not die anymore. Here we go. Oh, no, we're not fixing any cars. <laughs> uh, Astro, we, we hit the weather button uh, when we get into it here. We will never die. We'll never grow old. We'll never die. <laughs> um. What the what? Hello. Wow. Interesting. Interesting there. Um, oh no. Yeah, that's correct. Let's, okay, okay. You know, let's just quit out of this for a second and, uh, relaunch, and hopefully that'll fix the issue.
I'm a little worried because that's what happened last time. Oh, wait, it might just be the camera. Maybe. I'm really worried about this, folks. Hey, this is not nighttime. This is, this is just a... Whew. Okay, let's uh, preset to one this. Run this town. My transmission is upsetting me, but the game is afoot. Let's see if we can make up some space here without completely hosing a transmission. Yeah, shine on Rio. We'll be back to check on you later. I mean, the game is afoot. It's just the, uh, the, the right foot on the accelerator. Which is to say the correct foot on the accelerator. Yee! Oh god. Postman Pat! Oof! Okay, there's the collisions! Collisions are back! I don't... Collisions are very much back on the table, boys. And we now have a suspension issue. Oh, hey, it's the Nissan Sentra, driven by Agent 24. <laughs> We have ruined this car already. Oh, did Corey just uh, shoot up the leaderboards in banana mode? That's why. You... That's why I love this. You never know what's gonna happen with these stupid, stupid AIs. She's in first. Oh, Mariah's not gonna like that. And Murray, get back on the road. Yeah, that car is uh, is a lot of fun. <laughs> Very tight in the top ten, eh? I hope we make it around. Okay, there's Ronald. I'm sorry, she is now 130 seconds ahead? Good for her. Good for her. And yes, uh, Sunny, this, that you did hear Anne Murray. Anne Murray is currently driving the bathtub car, which I believe is where the hippo is. I try to be clever when I'm naming these cars. It, sometimes it requires a bit of a explanation. You see, I make jokes for me. And 
if someone else out there gets it, then I consider that a win. The best comedy is the kind that you have to work for. What is up with Corey's car? It's it's a banana. It is a banana, sized like a banana, and banana, uh, being ridden by a banana-sized human. Yeah, as such, it 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 has difficulty uh, staying on track sometimes due to its uh, size and lack of, uh, well, I mean, lack of tires. It has no tires. It am banana. Yeah, take that, race director. You can't tell me what to do now. Kind of have to intuit the leaderboard. All right, folks, we're we're gonna go uh, pit here and get ourselves a new transmission and suspension and everything. Oh, crikey! Oh, thank God! <laughs> I was worried my buttons were my button box was hecked up. Uh, we're good for fuel, I guess, for the moment. Keep it at 60. Poor beach. Yeah, unfortunately, no live spreadsheet this year due to uh, technicalities. Oh, good. I get to have some coffee. So, uh, how, how is everyone uh, doing? Neutral? Neutral. I, yes, we should all be neutral. That's what we should do. Corey seems to have disappeared. She may have retired then. Oh, oh. Deidre, uh, F1 stops. I mean, I suppose you can... How fast can an F1 team uh, change out a transmission? Like, when we actually do change tires, that part looks very quick. Sarah, that sounds pretty good. I don't know if the neutral took, but... The goal is to not damage the transmission at all. So, I mean, if we get that initial blip, that should be fine, right? the way the license plate just kind of pops in. Ooh. Auspicious lightning there. Oh, do the AI pedal players get penalties? <laughs> I mean, they might, in that sense. That, that could explain why they disappear somehow, but...
Look down to see something about your Nissan dealer is too busy learning the sword to give you the kind of deals that you'll get at this year's Toyota Thon. Suzuki Samurai? Huh. Give it up, buddy. The Shogunate's over. Time for you to step up into a brand new Toyota Tacoma. While you were studying the blade, I was busy cutting the prices on last year's models. Send your enemies six feet under and tell them to report back on these rock bottom prices. Anyway, <laughs> sit favorite Citron. <laughs> Oh god, that's a, uh... I honestly don't think I have a favorite Citroen. Oh, oh, oh. Although Pomelo is definitely a high up there. Uh, in terms of just, yeah, e uh, edibles. Uh... I mean, Yuzu is pretty good. Meyer's Lemon is also very strong. Tangerine, yeah, love me a tangerine. That was a shift too soon. Jello, oh boy. Oh, shoot. Don't coffee and drive. Oh, also, let's not forget about the Buddha's hand. That may be one of my favorites to look at. me I need to buy a lemon tree for this place just because I want to own a le and lemon tree yeah that's not how you do that and Jello Lansbury is making <laughs> make me angry Just boop the, the wall. It was definitely safe entry, right? Right. Yeah, spin out due to Majima. How could we not see this coming? Hello, friends. You see, I see total, but my mind keeps screaming at me, toe ball. Toe ball, number one. Olympian. Toot. Good to just blow by a bus on this track. OK, 
talking, now we're making times. And this is an appropriate uh, coffee point. I did not know that you were one of the lords of Kobol. So few remain. Fifty McNasty, don't worry. High aggro buses are still in effect. Yes, we are currently position 22 out of 37. And we are not playing online, asked on the programmer. We are, uh... Each one of these... cars is driven by a portion of my computer. Sometimes well. Sometimes not at all. drama. I think that's the other problem is the, the hybridization of cars is uh, slightly disappointing. I mean, wouldn't it be much nicer to have a car that was a hybrid gas slash uh, organic? Like in addition, in addition to putting gas in the tank in the back, you gotta like shove a burger up in the front. Okay, what am I doing wrong with these shifts? Space potato has like a Cylon, and there we go, and we're back to Cobol. Don't worry, that was just a real ambulance. First of all, I need to get an ambulance in this game. Second of all, don't worry, it's just a real ambulance is not really comforting for anyone. <laughs> Don't worry, chat, that's real life. That doesn't, that can't affect us here. I personally find that COBOL is, and most uh, the older languages are best in, best experienced in shades of amber, and if necessary, shades of green. But techno organic cat bus, you know that's something that's. It's a product of the Techno Union. Where it needs wrong. Okay, so this is a tuned truck. This is what happens when you let the Acti go. 
and the act he wants to go. Okay, we are absolutely stopping for fuel and transmission after this lap. If we make this lap. Hey, we're on the leaderboard? Huzzah! That can't last for long, but... find a different chair, actually. Stepping on the brake is, uh, more difficult than I'd expected in this kind of an office chair. Cuttlefish Man, generally you're supposed to, uh, complete the race with the transmission what brung you, but, uh, I'm sure most teams have at least one spare. I think the real key is I need to uh, stop trying to make sub-second shifts. Okay, so some cars will do a collision and some do not. Well, I mean, it, it, it tracks. Uh, spoilers for Venture Brothers' later seasons, but, uh... Asian 24 doesn't make it. And yes, collisions are a... are set to maybe. Right, it's not, he's not an agent at all, he's a henchman! What the hell am I even doing? Ooh, did we actually get a, uh... Consider reducing force feedback? No, not yet. Ooh. After, uh... After we, uh, swapped out the old wheel with the new, uh, larger Texan wheel. Because everything's better, f bigger from Texan. Um, we had to recalibrate the force feedback get a new LUT for that. So the force feedback is just on point right now. That was again me. This is good. This is actually public shaming of my, uh, of my poor sim driving habits. Okay, uh, engine, yes. Suspension, yes. Body, yes. Uh, you know what? Tires, no, but add liters. 40 liters, yes. 40 liters is what we like. Ah. 
Coffee also, yes. Oh, it's Lurbot who mentioned the Crocs. Yeah, that was one of the uh, vehicle models that didn't make it, uh, because it, you could never get it to actually move properly. Okay, clutch is in, because we're stuck in second. Or rather, in is... Uh, you know, I think we might actually have a uh, speed limiter as well, but... Hey, there we go. No pit damage, but we do have to now repass Mr. Initial D. Bender for uh, confirming your Venture Brothers watch status. I'm very much looking forward to the final movie. I think it was announced to be Godwin, or was that just a dream I had? <laughs> Holy moly! And Murray, what the hell are you doing? that break a bit. Too much throttle there coming out of the uh, first bit of the turn. And we're back on the time sheets. Hurrah! Fifty McNasty, that's that's kind of what we're going for. We're going for the uh, the blaze ball of of auto racing. is between Alpha Flight and Dongard? <laughs> 420 blaze mans every day. Nope, wait, don't do that. That's how you end up in the Hague. Derek overtook. transmission's just burning up due to too much rev? Oh. 
Gar Lopez, I mean, Face Off is the game that's uh, taking over Lermont. Really? This is starting to get a bit ridiculous, folks. I haven't had just nearly this problem in, uh, I want to say, in any of the uh, practice slaps. And Murray still not having a good time. How the transmission mechanic doesn't work is intended for casual play. Uh, it is possible to make it happen, but not from within the game. That said, I mean, we might DQ or crash at some point in the while. Um, looks like they don't repair the transmission during pit stops. Well, they should. Let's let's see what happens here. Get out. Yep, that's a that's a white transmission again. Flashed red due to treating it badly coming out. No problem there. Oh yeah, the clutch is working properly physically. If you look up at the top of the uh, screen, uh, there are f you will see four bars uh, along the right-hand side next to a hamburger menu. There's a green one there. There's a a gray one that appears to be flipping around, which I think is G-forces. I'm honestly not sure. And then that blue one, which just shot up there, that is the clutch. And that's how you can tell the clutch is working, because you see responses. See green throttle, red brake, blue clutch. Oh, gray is force feedback. That makes sense. What up? Scary. Oh no, I think I just heard someone try to do a thing here. And uh Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, there is someone yeah. here. Hello. They're just uh, very Hi. quiet because because of the way the audio is set up. So that once, oh, okay. oh. Let me see if I can just turn down this uh Oh that doesn't help me any, unfortunately. Hmm. You can barely hear me. Don't stop what you're doing. I just wanted to come wish you luck. Yeah, I can barely. Oh, there we go. I just need to turn. Uh, there we go. Now I can. Uh, hear you. you got me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I just need to turn. Good morning. Out. Good morning to you, Adam. How's it going? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I am doing it pretty fine. Uh, it's yeah. been a heck of a morning so far. You had an early start. Yeah. <laughs> early start. We've had a one disqualification already from mm. we're not slowing mm -hmm. down enough. So we. Uh, so I fired the race director, and now we're racing without him. Yeah, nice, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only question is uh, whether or not we can get through without uh, burning through 23 different transmissions. Oh, well, I, I hope you don't have to do that. <laughs> Same here. I, should, uh, I was thinking I should broadcast through uh, Discord as well, but you know what? You can probably pull it up on the... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just looking at you. I don't. I can't stay long, but I just wanted to come and say hi, and I'll probably check in on you later to make sure you do. Okay. Oh, I appreciate. Sure. You can hear me. Time for you to get back in the pod race, eh? And good faith in you. Yes. Hey, friends, we're back. Um, there was a lot of power that was gone on the island. Um, I appreciate everyone's abundance of caution and not uh, posting that, that too much about the, the other Gillette map, but the uh, fact of the matter is uh, we all live far enough away from each other that it would be very difficult to try to triangulate uh, us based on that. That said, uh, yeah, surprising how widespread it was and how quickly it got resolved. I'm, I'm happy about this fact because I'm happy to be back and uh, ready to be driving here. Uh, where is my keyboard? It's over here. Uh, right. So while we were um, 
while we were offline, I took the chance to swap out one of the cars, specifically Beej's, uh, or I'm sorry, the Man's Romance's uh, Crown Vic for last year's Crown Vic, and hopefully that will uh, make things work the way we want them to. I should also bring up Sim Hub so that we can have a leaderboard up there. And uh, I think everything else, we're going to keep Ryu Hazuki as, 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 uh, as they are. But uh, let's put this back and then put you in the the boobity boo, the boobity boo. Okay, and the leaderboard, where are you leaderboard? Do I need to hit, oh yeah, automatic, automatic throttle blip. Let's, let's put that on just for fun too, because why not? Yeah. Uh, right, I need audio too. It was SimHub that I wanted to check uh, to make sure it was running the thing. Uh, Dash Studio. Yep, it's you're not running. This should be starred, and this should be auto. Uh, let's start it. Uh, windowed. Let's unpin that and then let's close this up. Okay. Auto blip. Do not auto shift. Do not auto clutch. Do not ideal line me. Factory everything. Mechanical damage 100%. Everything seems good here. Real time is 1909. Let's push the button, folks. Uh, now, why is that not? showing up hold on a second it's... okay well you know what let's uh let's figure it out let's just push the button and go race and if that doesn't autofill then we'll fix it later we'll fix it in post. Here we go. Oof, that's no good. Have to turn off IPv6. Oh no, that means there's going to be a lot of... Uh, you know what? Let's just use this as a chance to test that leaderboard. While we're doing that, let's uh, go back and, uh, ooh, how far back? Two hours, three hours, and then 14 hours. Great. Garvey400, thank you so much for that, uh, that sub. Tireworm, 31 months of resubscription. Thank you for your continued support. The Angels Weep, 67 months. Cheers to you. Nathan JGA, 47 months. Thank you for your continued support. Diabor, thank you for 59 months. Drowson, thank you for those bits. Will Borg, cheers to your continued support. Good morning to you too. Pixel Art Dragons for 35 months. Yay, Lermans. Moosefield Cat, saying let's drive. Thank you. Dutch Giant, thank you for your support as well. Thank you to Bitter One. Uh, thank you to... Lick the Mimer. Lick in the Mirror. And thank you to Kira Whitefin, as well to Brozard, Gorilla87, Fruon, Margie RG, and Drowsynth, as well as Star Chalk. Thank you all for your continued support. Uh, we'll be back to talk about more of those in a second. I think we're not uh, having a good time with regards to. Uh, with regards to that <sighs> the leaderboard so we're going to fix that first before we do anything else here because that's that's no good uh i want to be able to see, i want you to be able to see who's in what position when and why and where and so um hold on hold on hold on Come back to the race. And it's working! That sounds...
Okay, so let's start this one more time then. 15 minutes in. Okay. Go back to Aceto Corsa. Was Aceto Corsa. Corey's just going to crush this, I think, is what's going to happen. Period. No matter what we do. Adjust time. Make. Close. Make. Go, go. Juice, go. This time for sure. I wonder what happens when they lose power at the actual track. I think that causes some issue. Oh, hey, Phoebe the Coffee Witch. Thank you for your uh, your bits. And you know what? It's, you support in, and this goes to everyone, please support in a manner that is uh, sustainable to you. Be that just being in the chat, having, why is, why is no audio come through? I am not hearing any audio, so I need to fix that on my end. You're hearing the audio, which is great. You're, you're supposed to hear the audio. Um, why am I no audio? Is it, oh, do I need voice major here too? I think I do. Turn on the banana. There we go. Sweet. Jesus. Turns out when the power goes off, everything goes off. And then Ian goes off. Let's try this again. Wait a minute. I noticed a problem with the weather. No, no, it's, I th it thought it was going twice as fast, but it is not going twice as fast. We are at single time speed, weather-wise. That auto blip is indeed helping just a bit because, and I find that okay to put in because this car has an auto blip. <laughs> Lurman's 3.0 plus one plus one. You can't not have audio. Oof, TC TXC2. <laughs> That's not a good feel. How's my water bottle doing? Mm, it is full of carbonated water. Which is delicious. Do not shift into reverse. Fifth is indeed the best gear I can have right now. Yeah, Angry Optimus, it, it blips the throttles when you're doing a downshift to uh, bring the... Uh, to match revs up with where you're supposed to be. Oh no, Char! Is this the end of the Red Comet? So we got a ways to go now that I've uh, hecked up the, uh, the start. Autozam! And if you think I'm not saying Autozam every time I see the Autozam, then you don't know how I feel about Autozam. Wait, I turn away and for half a second and Corey's gone off the leaderboard. <laughs>
Thank you all for noticing Postman Pat. Yep, 50 McNasty, fifth, uh, classic VW thing driven by our man Benjamin Grimm. I mean, Corey's power to weight ratio on the banana right now is something like uh, a power of, I want to say 300 horsepower, 400 and some odd newton meters of torque, and a weight of zero. So it's, you know, there's, there's a pretty good reason that she's all over the place in terms of acceleration. If we had Decotata trucks in this game as an option, uh, I would absolutely be having them in there. Urgh. Ride that curb, Ian. Good acceleration. Okay, so you can't blip your way out of a uh, bad shift, it looks like. Yeah, we've had a couple warm-up sessions, uh, Genie, so I guess uh, getting to 18 on lap two is uh, a little bit easier when you've been practicing for, what is it, four hours now? Shoot. And then this happens. Just gonna get back on it. Alright. Now we need to check some messages. <laughs> Okay, this sounds great, but... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even realize I had the phone right up there. Let's see how well this works.
Sorry, I'm, I'm currently uh, corresponding with, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say, uh, with, with, with some of our other uh, co-hosts uh, co here on We're About. Uh, people showing up later and uh, things going on, so don't mind me. And don't do like Daddy Ian does. This is this is a, a big don't. Big slacking and driving. The beer mile on the text lap. I like that. We haven't lost any positions yet, have we? I would call that defensive driving. Hey, it's the sun! Or the moon. I don't know which. Can someone who is uh, better at being in France than me Tell me which of these celestial bodies that was in the sky. Oh, Jenny, I could use, uh, uh, I, I, I could use the text to speech and, uh, and do that, but unfortunately then I'd be giving away, uh, not secrets, but possible plans. Currently the golden hour in France. Yeah, it's, oh, well, I mean, it's, of course, my time is up there. It's 1926 in France right now. The time, not the year. So yeah, that's probably the sun, I want to say. It's not going down for a while. Oh, it's the moon, okay. It's hard for me to say because I, I, I think I did uh, increase the size of the moon. Uh, you know, just for aesthetics. But I never actually got to see what size it was. I doubled the size of the moon, but not the moon's uh, mass, so it's a less dense moon now. Which may cause problems if it ever gets hit by an asteroid. I should reread Seven Eves. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so now I can touch the Sentra. Was not expecting that. Walls still extant. Just a bit of more, uh, more, more discussion to have here, sorry. <laughs> Gotta be ready for the chicanes. Gotta be ready to ruin a transmission. Oh yeah, that's ruined. All right, well, let's just send ourselves back to the pits. We'll have to work our way back up those lines in a second. And 
and earpiece. All right. Back to attention driving. I'm honestly surprised that Mirai seems to be the uh, the best driver. Now oh, and followed up closely by her wife. I mean, right. Auto Sam. people are. Okay, folks, uh, we managed to coordinate your for a treat later tonight, uh, so stick around uh, for the entire 24 hours, the 24 hours of Lermans here on the mighty Loading Ready Run Video and Entertainment Network. For those just joining us, my name's Ian Horner. We are currently in the midst of an endurance race simulating the Cirque du Soleil in... Uh, France, France. Ah, yes, and a uh, special guest tonight, uh, Mr. Tim Conway. That's where someone will tell me what's a Tim Conway, and I'll say, oh, about four and a half pounds. Siri will ask me if I've uh, fallen down again. And, uh, everything's going as normal. We are driving in a Renault Turbo 5, which has an interior that looks like an 80s neon club. Love the interior of this car so much. Nothing is bringing me as much joy as people noticing the Royal Mail van, getting excited, and then being, uh... And then being informed that that is indeed Postman Pat. But it's, it is, in fact, a, a one of the newer ones. It's a Ford Transit van. Uh, so it has skin options for a UPS, uh, FedEx, the Royal Mail, DHL, and uh, I think just Blank. Other uh, delivery companies are available, but I figured I'd go with the one that, uh, the one that's actually a Crown Corporation and wouldn't benefit from the free advertising. Yeah, office chairs don't make the best racing platforms, but... There we go, headrest is up now. Ooh, don't forget to brake, Ian. Don't forget to brake, <laughs> don't forget to brake, Ian. And uh, game, don't forget to brake, Ian. Rude motor 
motorcycles outside, backfiring all up in this joint. And here's our pass. Heading them off at the etc. Ooh, that's a money, money, money! Money! Shift. No, 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 no! Such a loud car! Here we go, already 10 seconds off our best time. Pro tip! Never mentioned the time. Huh, deja vu. I've just been in this place before. There we go. I want to see some smoke come out of those, uh, those big cooling fins in the back. Truck! That could have been much better than it was, but here we are. Yeah, I think this transmission might just be super worn. Slowly am becoming night. I hope. I think I tested the day night cycle, otherwise, we're in for some weird stuff. Sound white noise, correct. The car that is currently leading the race is the one that I am driving. There are four other Renault Turbo 5s on the track today. Uh, we are currently being driven, and will continue to be driven for the rest of the race, by the uh, a crew of original Gundam characters. We've got uh, Mirai, the pilot, Captain Bright, and of course, Amuro and Char is there for some reason too. Yeah, it's, I'm, I think I'm just shifting down too quickly and just busting out the synchro. Your favorite Gundam character, Bobby. Oh, 
but Bobby, you can't just buckle under the pressure of other new types like that. I don't know why I'm becoming a more new... King of the Hill, but, uh... It's about New York Upper Crust instead. Seinfeld. King of the U? No! Why do I like to do that? Bobby! You're making the other drivers feel inadequate with your lawnmower. Done much work in terms of getting this up and running in VR, just because it's uh, we're st you know, it's a year on, but we're still uh, settling into this new place. the last time. Looks over and sees the bird's prosthetic ass and, uh, this is a good chat. Oh. There's Amaro. I guess he's going to teach me how to drive. Yes, Angry Optimist, it was, uh, it was terrible trying to make a move during a pandemic like that, but the right place came available at the right time, and we just had to jump on it. And hopefully we'll be here for the foreseeable future. But what was less fun was that I, uh, the day we moved and took possession, I had a family emergency, which then required me to go back to Alberta in the middle of the pandemic. And I was absolutely not going to be uh, getting on a plane in the middle of the pandemic, especially that early. That was in July of last year. And so that was a, uh, a quick emergency road trip in the mini from Victoria to Lethbridge. Oh god, Lopez, I'm so sorry to hear that. We, uh, we, we, our, our move itself was, was quite smooth. Uh, we had, we had some help for that, but... Is it just that zone? Is there something in, like, is that a heavy magnetic field zone? 
where shifting shouldn't be done because it'll damage the transmission. It's a hard one, Sarah, making that ma making that call. Like, it, it can be done safely, but it's all about minimizing risk. And I, I, I say this not to you, I say this to the world. It's, it's all about minimizing risk, because there is no safety. Or no guaranteed safety is the, uh, is what I mean to say. Which is why I say to everyone, be safe out there. Well, I really had the idea of the, uh, the, the be safe and minimize risk drilled into me early on in the, uh, in the pandemic. You know, before anyone I knew got COVID. And then, you know, a few people did, and that was the realization. Like, there, no, there's no, there should be no public shaming. There should be no, uh, no calling out, because you can do everything quote-unquote right and still end up catching the disease. Anyway, I don't want us to dwell too much on that right now. We're having a good time racing around a, uh, a track, so... Let's all look forward to our continued ability to move forward. Xantos asks, uh, how's it going? It's going good. It's, uh, yeah getting slightly more dark the uh the sun is going down and the moon will be coming up my my artificially inflated moon and uh long ago i emptied out my cup Ooh, and we have one liter of fuel left which means we absolutely need to do a a uh pit stop Yee, 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 yee. Messed that up. But yeah, we had a, uh, a power outage earlier, which was uh, unfun. Uh, we've had several other technical difficulties. This, this, this may be, this may qualify as a cursed Lermans TBH. Yes, there was a DQ. Thank you, Elemental Alchemist. <laughs> uh, I was just getting into my, uh, my discussions. I think I'm going to go for some open-air sidewalk pho as soon as Cory arises and takes my, uh, takes my place for a few minutes. Love that fa. Oh, AIs, you're so cute. You're so cute when you don't know how to overtake. Actually, I think we need to hold off on the throttle here, now that I think about it, if we're going to, uh, make it to the pits. <laughs> That's a good map from James. That's even too high there. Yeah, there we go. That's the, uh... 
3,000 RPM, that's all we need. Yeah, no storm in Victoria. This is, it's been a, uh, it's, it's overcast, but in that nice way. Yeah, you know, we might as well repair everything while we're in there, too. Nice little Sunday drive. You know, 100 kilometers an hour. I'm very curious to the uh, the source of this outage in particular. As, as I said, our our power is generally quite stable. In fact, I can count I can count the number of power outages that have been caused by an external factor on one hand since the uh, since we moved here. Okay, once we hit the pits, I'm going to uh, start working through some subs here, too. I think keeping us under speed was a good plan. Uh, no, no, not King or Able. Uh, we actually just we had a, a number of uh, power outages in my own home here uh, at the start of the heat dome as we were trying to figure out uh, which of our circuits was able to handle the air conditioner. Because it turns out, for some reason, both of our bedrooms in uh, in our current place are on the same circuit breaker. And, uh, oops, I didn't flip myself, or at least I'm not flipped at the moment. Transform, flip horizontal. There we go. There's Derek, wonder what's up. Oh no, that, that to me, no, their pit needed. All right, let's see here about Thanking some folks. Thank you to Moosefield Cat for their 83 months of subscription. Pixel Art Dragon saying yay over mans. Uh, Dutch Giant for 32 months. Bitter One, thank you for your continued support. Lyco the Memer. Oh yeah, we did all those already. Yes. Uh, so, where were we at here? You know, we'll keep going. Kiro Whitefin for 29 months. Super excited this year. Thank you so much. Brozart subscribing for 33 months. And Room Gorilla 87 for 80 months. 80 months of great entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Fruan uh, throwing in some bits there as well. Margie RG for 51 months. Won't be around as much as the usual day, but still excited for the VOD when I get a chance to see it. Uh, well, not all at once. Thankfully, there will be multiples. Drowsynth for 51 bits. Star Shock 2002 for 92 months. Thank you to Wellbog for dropping a bunch of gift subs on the channel. UFO Guy coming in with 51 months of euphonium goodness. Thank you. Oe King for 31 months. Sonic Wolf dropping their 88th month of subscription. MTV CDM for 83 months. And Standard Hunter subscribing for 15 months. Let's go make up some positions, shall we? Oops. Oh yeah, I won't even talk about the fact that my uh, apartment currently still has... I mean, it will have, for the entirety of the time I'm here, aluminum wiring. Which is unfortunately quite common for uh, British Columbia of the era. It's fine, it's fine, it's, 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 it's getting pigtailed, but uh, it's something we gotta deal with. Because tearing open all these walls is, uh, let me tell you, it's, it's not, 
it's not something we're doing on a streamer's salary, that's for sure. Oh, Kushinoki, be, be, uh, be happy. Are they at least insulated? Yes, yes, that, but that's the problem, uh, Big Smart Dragon with aluminum wiring, is that, uh, it expands and contracts a lot more than other, or a lot more than copper wiring, which means that you end up, uh, having insulation become brittle, crack and fall away, and yeah. Exactly, as Morden Zolissing says, it's safe as long as you never touch it and it was also done correctly when it was installed. Now, well, thankfully, the building is old as sin. What's going on outside? Well, not as old as sin. It's a uh, mid 80s construction, but. But it also means that it's, uh, if I ever want to change any of the outlets, which I often do because I like to use things like, uh, Wi-Fi outlets. You need to get it pigtailed because you do not want copper More copper rated outlets operating on aluminium. Yeah, 62 MG cover, it's that that's exactly this. Aluminum isn't bad as a wiring option. It's just that it it requires some different uh a different set of skills, I guess. It's not a one-for-one -one swap with copper. And unfortunately, it's kind of the way it gets treated. TV with coffee, which, yes, that's why you generally have to pigtail them with a, uh, uh, they used to use wire nuts or, uh, morets that had, that had been filled with a, uh, anti-oxidation solution. Uh, one of the other solutions that, uh, is popular is a, a specifically torqued adapter whose, uh, brand name I can't remember off the top of my head. And here's the problem, is that no, other sources of, of, of pigtailing are not available. Those are it if you want to be uh, to code. And if you want to sell your place, you probably want to be to code. Yes, this place right now is the new apartment. Um, <laughs> yes, I would like a lemon tree. I've already got a... It was a gift, or at least he, he intended it as a gift. I'm going to be holding on to it as a, as a fostering situation, but I've got a uh, Mexican orange uh, out on the balcony right now that got from Jacob because... He bought it and then unfortunately realized that his balcony was ill-suited for that particular type of plant.
but yeah, it would be nice to, but I, I understand lemon trees are uh, good indoor trees. Can eventually produce fruit. And I do like me some lemons for the cooking. And can spend times, some time outdoors during the summer and maybe even the Victorian winter. Yuzu as well is a good one. Yeah, the only lemon thieves I'd have to worry about would be the finches, which occasionally come by. That was, yep. That's me blowing another transmission by not properly driving. Let's see if we can get into... Let's take ourselves back to the pits. Wait, how far does this go? Have we discovered something? There it is. Ah, oh, glorious. Will you ever stop? I don't know. It's kind of like being in a waterbed. I don't think we're going to reset here. Oh! Amazing. Okay, let's let's head back to the pit. <laughs> oh my lord, that sound. That's the sound that we make when we uh, when we occupy space already uh, occupied by air. Sorry, now I'm getting uh, we're we're having a discussion in our super secret text channels about uh, cars, and uh, some of uh, some of us are just discovering the Nis the Pike factory models that came out of Nissan. The Pau, the Escargo, and the Figaro. And boy, did I actually want a... Did I want a Pau bad when I was living in Japan? Should have been a Trabant in this race. <laughs> that was a demo. I mean, I'm always, I've always got my eyes open on the, uh, the provider of mods uh, sites, the various uh, repositories of Assetto Corsa ephemera. Yeah, this is why I can't. This is why I think I need a different chair. Is I'm using the, uh, using the wheel to hold myself in place while I push on the brake. I think what I should do is try and find some uh, some lumps to put the uh, the wheel the chair's wheels on. Maybe I'll do that when I'm off. In the in-between time. Office chair chalks. Yeah, like, exactly, Archivite. Yeah, I think this is a... I think that's a interactive... By which I mean no collision model van. That 
that's the kind of stuff I like doing. Oh, that's a good idea. They're uh, wheel replacements that are... I could just take... No, I can't. Because, wait, I might, I might actually just be able to pop the wheels right off. Nope, absolutely not. Not on this chair. But yeah, we actually had a, uh, a visit from one of the many uh, Assetto Corsa mod creators out there. Apparently I'm using uh, Bucket Train was their name in chat, and apparently we're using uh, at least three of their mods in this very race. Was Lady Penelope's car a, uh, a Cadillac? I feel like she would have had more taste than that, but... I mean, also, older Cadillacs were... Yes, Rolls Royce. Thank you, Dodaro. Thought that was the case. Cadillacs are cars you buy for your friends because you're rich. But Rolls? Yeah, you can't just walk up and buy one of those. Hand built, you know. One of them England places. Like England. Woohoo! Did not expect that. Get past him. Oh, hey, it's Sabine's. <laughs> Basically, enter Sabine. A little bit of squeal there. That was exciting. This is, I think, Sabine's younger sister, uh, thanks to the, uh, the later model year. Hmm, I was wrong to bring Beige back into this race. Kushinoki, that sounds like a fun challenge later on. Yeah, that must be kind of weird. The Sabine story. I am using a extended version of Sidekick for the uh, the top app. Yeah, I tried to do a a full road quest uh, top this time. Still would love to see someone model Pontiac Sunfire for this, but 
also I don't want them to waste their time modeling a Pontiac Sunfire for a set of Corsa. <laughs> Beach to beat Char. Hmm. I mean, is he beating... Where's Sexto Balaika in all this? Sexto I put in a, uh, a standard-ass Mazda 3 Sport in 2003. Again, trying to get as close as I could to one of the previous cars I've owned. Just to see how it would stand. Because I sure as heck... I'm not uh, going to be driving a Dodge Shadow in this. First car, worst car. Oh no, Goro! Oof. I think we just barely escaped Annihilation there, or we could pass through Goro. Either way, that was exciting. Buses seem solid to me, so I'm going to avoid being touched by a bus. This fall on ABC, something's got into Josephine McPhee, and that something is a bus. That's right, when an Orion Model 7 drift bus goes to heaven, but gets kicked out along the way, it needs to find a new home. And it does so in the body of a middle-aged office worker. Touched by a bus. She's got to get from home to work in the commute of her life with just a few local stops along the way. Alpha flight! Out of my way! Got some backfire there. What's it going on with that? Oh yeah. So I was I was concerned as to why this car's engine seems quieter on the inside than a lot of others, and then I did a little bit of research on the. Renault Turbo 5, and it being a mid it makes sense. It being a mid-engine car, that means the engine is in the back. Damn it, auto industry, don't do that. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the engine is in the back, or at least behind the driver. Uh, and apparently it's covered with just enough carpeting and uh, just enough box that it actually does deaden the sound pretty... Uh, pretty well compared to uh, other cars of its ilk. That and also having only an inline four uh, kind of helps. And goodbye, Postman Pat. Neither rain, nor sleet, nor snow, etc. I know that's a different postal authority, but... Neither will no alone, nor strength alone. Jordan. Hope you're having a uh, 
a good day here as we oh, walk up the rankings past a Ford F350. We'll get a new transmission when we go in for, uh, for gas after the next lap. <laughs> what the fuck is a Ford F-350 doing on Le Mans? Uh, well, y you may want to uh, hold on to your sense of disbelief because we have a few other uh, strange, strange additions. We got buses, we've got uh, we've got a forklift that only goes 200 yards before being sent to another dimension. Center Rush, you got an MR2? You lucky dog. Those are, uh, those are difficult to find in good condition because the people who have them generally tended to uh, to like to race them. And uh, they had bad problems due to people blowing them up or just straight up wrecking them. NMR2 is something I'd like to spend some time playing around in. I don't know if it's an ownership car for me, but... Yeah, Bobby Hill's driving a lawnmower. We tried to get uh, a uh, Mater in, but unfortunately Mater just couldn't figure out how to drive forward. And so uh, that was not going to happen. There's also a, a set of Crocs that you can just uh, drive that are Crocs, but they were having tire troubles as well, so we had to take them out of the running. Now this little Honda Acti, a little tuned K-truck. Listen to that thing! Oh, goodbye. Oh, hey, we're going to get a real lead on uh, 20th place then. If they're going in for a pit. Yeah, we pit for fuel next round. And that was a new person. Good Lord, that was a new personal best and the best uh, lap I've been able to do in preparation for this year's Lermans. How many hours left? A lot. That was a massively poor shift right there. Oh. I have to stretch sometime too, I think. Yeah, 20 minutes. No, no. What's our uh, pit strategy like? 30. There, seems good. Yes, yes, repair all my things. Sabine, stop it. Stop with that speed, Sabine. I know we could just be inside. I'm going all the way. I 
Uh, Arclight, uh, Sabine was the first generation of GM Saab, I believe. Which is, uh, blessfully something I was, a, I was aware, I was ready for, uh, to be mocked for, but no one brought it up for some reason. I guess there was just too much to <laughs> mock me for already on that program. Right, no, you're right, Earth One Beach did mention it at the beginning. That's right. And that's really, I think, more due to the fact that uh, I think the only two car people on that program were Beach and myself. And, uh, what was I going to say about that? Yeah, it kind of reminded me a bit more of the uh, latter episodes of the Grand Tour, where less attention is paid to the cars, but... and more to the adventure. Which is not a problem. Kirwaidfin, it's, it's also probably why it was easily repaired by the people uh, who ended up repairing it. As the part wouldn't have been difficult to find, but the part was absolutely not off the shelf available in Dawson, Yukon. <laughs> That was demo. No, there are three trucks in this uh, in this race, uh, all on team truck. But there's truck, truck, and truck. Uh, each according to their abilities, by each according to their means, of course. This is not a capitalist track. Oh, wait, we need to pit. Can't forget that this time. Point one of a liter left. Now that's some driving. Doc, you made a race car out of a DeLorean? Well, Marty, if you're gonna lose a race, you might as well lose it in style. Ah! You know, we could probably get more into that tank. Let's see how much we can get in. Like, four laps? Can we get, like, a six lap? Let's go seven laps. What's that worth? 52 liters? Good. Yeah, see, here we are. The uh, Super Olympic, which I think might... No. It sounds like it's ready to get out again. Super Olympian and... Neutral. Okay. Oh, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch. Yeah, we'll see how I like seven. Uh, seven of these. Whoop! That, that uh, Bobby came in quick. We'll see how I like seven laps. Because uh, we could probably want to balance tires and transmissions as well. Uh, Arclight would hold pit sign for 95k a year. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't think we're going to be 37 of 37 for this year. Especially seeing as we've had a couple restarts now. But... You probably all have a better view on the deltas than I do. Uh, between our times and those above us. Okay, so, you know, I've heard some people talk about uh, the reliability of Renaults and various things. Maybe, maybe the transmission is just, it just dies through use. It's, it's made of pressed together sugar. Besides, one of my favorite uh, aspects of Le Mans is always going away for a while and then coming back and finding out that I need to work my way back up the, the ladder and doing so. Like 20 to 37, we're almost halfway up. Sacranos, that <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me because this is not a uh, this is definitely a collector's piece of a car at, at this stage. I'm not sure uh, if it was contemporary when they had it. It was probably even pretty desirably collectible back then. I did make sure to check my uh, Japanese auction sites to uh, see if there were any Renault 5 turbos up for auction at the moment, and the answer is sadly currently no, but... Maybe one day. Not like that shift. Very curious. Very gun shy on this transmission. Ah, uh, the sob was 95? Cool, thank you. Oh yeah, Kiro, uh, any of the homologated cars are going to be uh, that way due simply to the fact that A, yes, they are a racing car, but B, they're going to be produced in very limited quantities for that very reason. Except apparently the, uh, the Renault 5 was pretty heavily uh, produced. I don't know have exact numbers, but I do know that it was significantly more than was uh, done to m for most uh, rally cars. Here's my other thing, is that uh, I love that there's lots of motorsport talk in the chat. I just wish I could read it all because I feel like I'm learning so much.
So, I don't know if I told this story, but one of the cars I was looking at for uh, Road Quest was a locally available Audi Sport Quattro with an inline five diesel. And it was unfortunately, like, it looked like it was pretty rusted out and in really ratty shape. So I didn't even really uh, put it in my top three or my, my top cars to uh, be checked out by Surge. Oh my God. Well, you know what? That's another, that's another transmission for us. Boo. Let's go back in there. Oh, the inline five diesel. Why make that? Like it was definitely, uh, I think it had been transplanted from either a Mercedes or a BMW. So it was absolutely not going to be a uh, full, I want to say, you know what? Let's, let's do this again. There we go. It wasn't going to be full compatibility with uh, Audi Sport Quattro normal levels. That said, an inline five diesel is going to put out a lot of low end torque, which for your day to day driving could be very fun. Reborn Flames, that, 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 that's probably a better answer than uh, pressed sugar. Ah, please be very careful and gentle with this transmission. It's made of chocolate. If it uh, gets too hot or maybe uh, you are too hungry, so you'll be having trouble moving forward. Well, perhaps I should have given the thing to the Invisible girls and rather than the thing himself, yeah? No. So here's the question. If we are in fact eating transmissions like cereal in this car, what's the name of that cereal? O-rings, gyros, Captain Crunch obviously, yeah, Captain Crunch. Ah, and Murray! Whew. Keep the car from touching the walls. I can't believe I have to drive so far to get past a Nissan Sentra. Synchros? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, no. Synchros is very good, Sacranos. Come on! It's like in money... <laughs> and Anne-Marie is back on the gravel again. So, GDM, I, I made a mistake there. That should be Agent, or sorry, not Agent, uh, Henchman 24, not Agent 24. Uh, J-Man 14, the, the lags in the top corner are uh, an indicator that I am doing something wrong or that uh, 
someone, so yellow flag means that there is a uh, caution ahead. Someone's had a bad time on the track and uh, people need to be warned about it. Sometimes the problem could be me. Blue flag means that there is someone behind me who wants to get by, who is faster and should be given right away. So right there, you would see that uh, Marty was, would be getting the, uh, the blue flag on that one. Stay in the lines, Ian. Night watch. throttle. TXC2, I thought I read somewhere that they were uh, doing a movie of some sort to finish things off, but that could be completely wrong. Ooh! Dark Morphin's found a uh, Sunfire. Well, now that we know someone, uh, or now that we've had an Assetto Corsa Modder join us in the chat and hopefully maybe on the Discord as well we can possibly pick their brains for some tips, etc. Ah, thank you, PMAVers. Yes, I was pretty sure about that. But glad to know it's, it wasn't a fever dream because Oh boy, do I definitely also want that, that story to be finished. No interior, no... Uh, well, I mean, we could just paint the roof to look like it's convertible. There we go. Missing my break point there. And that's probably because I'm looking at the chat when it happens. Thankfully, we haven't hit the wall yet. I mean, the, the, the wall of tires, not these walls. Those, those walls are. I mean, let's, let's say it like it is. It's like a child's birthday party in here at a bowling alley. They have definitely put down the bumpers. Good, good, safe, solid turn. Yeah, our tires are just fine. Oh, I didn't even notice the bendum. That tells you how focused I am on this race. Two can play at that game. Yeah. 
honestly, for a uh, for a non-driven car, you probably don't need much in the way of an interior. I always like following cars that are the car that I am, driven by the AI like this, because it gives me a, an idea of what the model is capable of and where I can maybe start adding a bit more speed or different lines or braking points. And I can see there that. It's packed in here. Gonna make up some space. Oh, this clown. With that. I felt it real good. Rio! Oh, Rio! You made it! And then you disappeared. <laughs> Hold on to that one. But lost the momentum. Alright, we yep, looks like we've got 1.9 currently laps left. Let's go for the full two. Okay, good. Headlights went on. I was wondering when that was going to occur. Friends, we are about to overtake Mr. Initial D, the Gentleman Rhymer, and put ourselves solidly in 19th place. I'm willing to bet that Rio is basically, uh, as he's at the, close to the 200 meter mark, saying to himself, No, I can't enter the, enter the race unless I found out more about my father's death. I need to go to China. And then teleports back to the pits. Okay, so are we all ready to watch Anne Marie just beef it right into the gravel? I sure am. Bye. What? And Murray, you surprise even me. Uh oh. We are 
not catching up with Anne Marie. Yeah, the, the, there, was, the, there was some hubris there. Nobody tell Anne Murray. Yeah, connect. There's a little bit uh, less uh, statistics this year because we have uh, had some issues in the lead up. But we're here and racing, and quite frankly, after that power order this morning, I'm happy enough that we're doing this. No race spreadsheet, sadly, in real time, but I mean, you really wanted to uh, write a Python script to OCR the data off of the sidekick thing at the top of the screen, which I think I might actually start moving around just a bit to uh, avoid burning on the LED. Oh my, this has been a bit of a cursed lap. First gear is probably not the correct choice for that. Yep, no. Forklift is absolutely not a uh, MST3K reference. That is 100% a Shenmue reference, though I do love me some MST3K. And everyone loves Staple Hauer Kraus. Point oh laps. We are uh, absolutely walking the line on hit this one. Yes, Iris, you are correct. Crankor is absolutely an MST3K pull for me. Although now that I remember it, it wasn't, uh, Rancor is definitely featured in Mystery Science Theater 3000. The poll that I'm giving, though, for Crankor is from a little terrible set of, uh, comedy, uh, comedy fan edits from the mid-90s from a group called Cornpone Flicks called, uh, Bad American Dubbing. And they, they end up doing a super cut of the, uh, of Crankwars lines. Uh, Bad American dubbings. They made three of them. They're not. I found them hilarious in university. So take that as you will. Bear in mind, I have changed a lot, and we all have changed a lot since university. What I'm saying is I do not approve of all or even most of the jokes currently in that, even though in retrospect they're probably mostly fine. Uh, it was not inspiration, Arrow Hydra, for the late night dub fight. The, uh... The inspiration for that was a panel that was put together uh, at Anime Evolution, one of the last years that that occurred in its first incarnation. 
and uh, Digital Dolphin, uh, a friend of ours who we'd worked with a lot in our SCT days, uh, put together a show called a little panel that he called Amateur Anime Dubbing. Uh, we got uh, some amateur, and I think we had at least one professional voice actor on that first show. Anyway, they did it once, and I, I, as I was on the panel doing it, I was thinking to myself, okay, how would I improve this as a thing? Because they were planning on really doing it as a, as a one-off thing, and I thought, yeah, maybe I can make this into a recurring show. And so I did. This is the uh, this is a portion of the leaderboard from I want to say it's Simhub is uh, is doing the the work in the background. And I think it might actually be one of the default installations, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We've also got uh, I don't know if it's. Uh, There's a full-scale leaderboard, which uh, I have not hooked up my audio to yet, but here we are. Ooh, also gonna have to work on the video maybe a bit. Looking pretty hot. Okay, friends, that's what happens when you push the clutch in and then out and then push the gear shift lever. You're generally supposed to do those in sequence, though not like that. Here is nice. All right, now we need to pit. On Six laps? Six laps kind of feels good, though we should, as usual, body suspension engine. Just get bodied. Oh no. Okay, we'll just coast in. Fuel is at zero after all. Oops. Okay, well, I'll we'll keep the clutch in because I forgot to neutralize it. Uh, while we're in the pits like this, let's talk about uh, some people who are great. People who are great are our uh, subscribers and bit donators right now. Uh, Standard Hunter, coming in with 15 months of subscription. Hanged Man for 55 months. Thank you so much for your continued support. Dormus has been around for uh, 50 or 39 months. Thank you so much for your, and congratulations on your uh, new job. Uh, Bows and Duros, subscribe for seven months, and Gant Gant. Daffy Gosling for 15 months. Evil Genius, nine for 28 months. And I'm going to cap that at Temporally Awry for 40 months. Thank you all so much for your uh, continued support. Hmm. You know, we'll just say thanks to Commander Drud for uh, all those gift subs. Thank you so much for your generosity, everyone. And again, as we say, thank you to everyone who supports in their own way, uh, be it at patreon.com slash loading ready run with your bits and subs here at twitch.tv. If you're a member at youtube.com slash loading ready run, you can be a uh, asker on our askler shows. And frankly, each and every one of you who is hearing this right now is a valued member of this community because 
and no one's watching, then what are we even doing this for? <laughs> yeah, whether you're chatting away in the chat, lurking McLurkiness, or active in so many ways, we love y'all. And we thank you so much. Yeah, get fucked, chat. You're valued. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, is Cory's banana off the top of the map? Hold on a second, I'm gonna shut up for a bit while we check. Is her banana off there? And how do we bring it back? We have to go deep into the sub-ocean to rescue Cory from her strange journey. She went too far, too fast. And then when Dr. Ian Warner entered the acceleration chamber, he was sent back in time and into a sub-ocean. Never to be seen again. Now, with the help of his hologram friend, Beach, he leaps from sub-ocean to sub-ocean, searching for Cory, and hoping someday that the next ocean will be the ocean home. MacGyver, you were entirely correct. <laughs> oh. was an end of uh, an end of Quantum Leap. Uh, the ending was Sam never returned home. Got to black. Thank you, Sarah, for uh, passing people along to the Tilty House link there. We are deep in the Yakuza mines there. Uh, actually, if people are curious about uh, the ending of Quantum Leap, uh, Ars Technica did a very <laughs> surface-level interview with the, uh, I think, the showrunner or the one of the producers. Uh, but there's certainly a, some interesting stuff there for Quantum Leap fans. Someone just said, Electrodyne uh, says, Street Hawk was good. I will counter that Street Hawk existed and was cool. It was part of that wonderful uh, vehicle based uh, television show's revival, along with uh, Street Hawk was contemporary with Viper, wasn't it? Or was it around the Airwolf time? I think it was Viper. I cannot believe that Sexto Beloeka is doing as well as they are. Okay, that might not have uh, been fully legitimate thanks to uh, non-corporeal buses, damn it. That is the wrong shift to do there. Actually, what I need to do is I need to uh, check out that Street Hawk theme song. Yeah, 
Yep, we're gonna try it again. Because we've got, uh, let's see, it's nine o'clock. Nine till four, so four and four, eight. Eight and 12, 20 hours roughly, right? No, that's not right. Math is hard when you're, uh, when you're also trying to race. Yeah, people keep asking how many transmissions. I think that might be the thing that we need to keep track of and, you know, that every, it seems that every other man's has one particular, uh, countable activity. And I think I would hazard to say that, uh, transmission is this year. Previous years we've had the, uh, the hood. I almost put a, uh, a Yori message on the, the front of the hood, but it was never going to be seen. I was just using the Yakuza font. Did Yori, patriarch of the engine bay th uh, family. Bruce K. Train has a... Uh, very good advice to save uh, the save transmissions. Don't money shift it. Remember, the money in money shifting is a reference to how much you'll be spending on a new transmission. Okay. Now we are firmly in night driving at this point. Not the deepest night, but that'll come soon. Oh yeah, nighttime is the scariest time confirmed because the uh, the buses don't always turn their lights on. And they'll get right up on you. They don't even care. So yeah, that, that shifting like that, don't do that. <laughs> Most of all, don't shift up into first. Cool knife dreams. I want cool ghost knife dreams. Too much. Guess. What is wrong with me of trying to bilk a version of the T squares too young to love into too much throttle? This is a uh... see the game is mimicking 70s headlights too because this is absolutely terrible. 
Unless somehow I didn't actually turn on auto headlights. How tempted am I to play the initial D songs while uh, driving? Uh, this is Reborn Flames. Funnily enough, I haven't actually seen initial D. Good God, that was... Embarrassing is what that was. Okay, we, are, we do have lights. Good. They're just not very bright. Mr. English, absolutely not. Has the car stopped? No. It's never not disturbing when it happens. Watching a forklift just disappear. Casually. And the forklift says, I don't want to be in this race anymore. And then race coach Sisyphus says, oh yes you do. And then Ryo goes back up to the, uh, back up the hill. Shoot, 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 we're dead. That's all the suspension. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun lap. Um, you know what? I don't think we do have headlights. No time to find out why that is. Well, this is going to be unfortunate. No headlights for me, unless... Oh, right. Probably because I, I left them in a wall. Oh, boy. Weirdly, I can actually see on the Twitch monitor uh, better than I can right now of my own vision. gonna go inside night watch for a second there it certainly is pretty when the sparks fly Bruce it's a pleasure to have you to answer those questions just did leave our headlights in the wall along with our dash lights so we'll follow the uh, the ill-named agent just gonna hope nope <laughs> there is a block there This way? Yes. There's the road. There's... Competitor? No. Goodbye, Bobby. This is just my own personal punishment. To keep me from hitting walls in future. 
If it is at all possible to drive back to the pits, do so. It may no longer be possible to drive back to the pits. Oh no, rain started, someone was in slick, and now we have four crashes at IRL Le Mans. Mm, 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 mm. Love to hold my steering wheel 90 degrees to the side to go straight. That's my favorite thing to do. Right, I was worried there for a second when you're saying the stream's been live for only two hours and nine minutes. What the heck? Could have sworn I've been here longer than that. So I guess that's why suspension is important. Otherwise, your car will just not. Hearing the ominous squeal of a bus's tires, as you know what's about to happen. <laughs> I bet Dawn Guard feels pretty good right now. I got to get ahead of someone ahead, ahead of them. Hello, Surge. Two hundred, two hundred, turn, turn around, good, continue forward, for, 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 forward, ever forward. Oh, some blessed street lamps. It is not raining right now. I think I scheduled a rain for later, <laughs> is a funny thing to say, but. We might be on uh, good track all day today. We might be lucky that way. Okay, here we go. Coming up on the pits. Ooh, yeah, it's a good point. Finding the pit entrance might be a bit tricky. Yeah, we got this. It's right there. Right there. Right there. Hey. Got a new one. Uh, please to repair my every yes. And also uh, new tires. TY, TY, TY.
do not mow down pit crews of other teams. It might help you, but it's illegal. Phew. Fuel is good. Everything's good. New car. Oh, stretch out the parts. Okay, it's gonna be some uh, repair here, so let's get in with the uh, the notifications. Ah. Mm. Friendly neighbor GM is a 62 month subscriber. Thank you for continually supporting us over that time. Weagle comes in with a 57 month subscription. Thank you to Weagle. Thank you to Thermonuclear Bartender for your continued support at 16 months. QB Storm Mage is an 18 month subscriber. Thank you for your continued support. Happy Lunar Mountains. May there be a mini Gant. Got numbers so far. Drowsynth has uh, given us 10. 110 bits, thank you for that distraction. Scared to deaf, new subscriber. Thank you to Forest Gaze for giving out a bunch of uh, subscriptions there too. Uh, once again, Dresden, thank you for those bits as well. Opal Moth, 21 months of subscription. Arc of the Conclave, 38 months. Lermond's best anime, racing anime of this season. Oh, thanks. Soul Invictus underscore H, new subscriber. Thank you for joining the channel. And uh, how... Vari Chan, subscribed for 30 months, just got here. Is there a Gant Gant this year? We are singular Gant, a scant Gant, as we have been saying. Let's get back on the field. And this time, not muss up our uh, headlights, shall we? Yes, the forklift is back. There you go. God, I love the little nose bob on the uh, on the Lego cruiser when it shifts. Nope, that was the incorrect gear. Ryo Hazuki, the uh, Shinbu character. I find it easy to remember by saying, oh, Ryo. As an old man said that to me a lot when I played that game. Spelled fast. It says greed. Greed Greedinson. Red Redmanson. There's no greed there. Probably could have given that a quicker shift. Okay. doing here. I think what I'm doing is I'm starting to get fatigued. This is like real racing. That was an absolute crash. Going with it. I just love the sound of that car, too. I 
Oh yes, that was truck. Farmer, farmer bumper. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess this is how we found out that he's Spanish in, uh, in heritage. Anyway, that was that was a clean overtake. That was less so of a clean turn. Oh yeah, it's a big truck. It's the same truck as the uh, this, the plane stairs last year, but uh, we decided not to do the the steps because uh, it was a bit unstable. We figured it'd be nicer to have the truck remain a member of the uh, of the race for as long as possible. too much, and that was a wrong shift. Welcome to wrongshift.com. <laughs> I mean, this is probably something more for bus simulator rather than a Seto Corsa, but, uh, I always thought it'd be fun to, to uh, drive one of those pantograph buses. I guess they called them the electric trolley, or they used, to, they used to call them electric trolleys in Edmonton when we still had them. Back before we lost all our sense. Ah, Rio, sadly in last place because Corey is in another dimension. But I'm not sure if Vancouver does. I I know that they did. But it's look well, it's been a year and a half since I've been to Vancouver. Uh, for any sort of extended period of time. Uh, Traylon, I am currently, we are broadcasting from the Crystal Gondola of the Palatial Main Tilty House Studios here in beautiful downtown Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> Gotta keep practicing that so I can pull it out when I need to on my own goddamn stream. Let's see if we can get through this chicanery without any issue and with a modicum of quickness. Well, I'd call that pretty successful. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Grid. Good luck in the hurricane. Stay safe. Autosam! Mm. 
shifting before clutching is a is a big no. You'll get an angry red transmission for that, Ian. Here, Dr. Ian, if there was a Road Quest 2, what car would you want to have in it? I would like to take Goro, uh, my Mini, and do a, a, a long filmed road truck with that. Uh, barring that, I really enjoyed the process of searching for and uh, searching for cars within a certain budget and then finding the good ones out of that. Ideally, I'd like to have a little bit more time and maybe a, uh, maybe if we had a place to park said cars before we started driving them, so we could uh, spend a little more time uh, trying to collect them. How mechanically reliable are minis in general and mine in specific? Um, so most, they're classic cars, which means they do need regular maintenance you're obviously going to want to do the, the usual stuff like your, your fluid changes. And in fact, on a Mini, you want to be a little bit more, more regular with the fluid changes because the transmission and the engine share the same oil, which is interesting. But that said, Minis are pretty easy to work on. Uh, they've been around forever, so there's a large amount of, uh, large amount of parts out there. Again, unfortunately, it's not a case where you're going to be able to like, just walk into a, uh, any garage and they'll have things there. But if you're willing to wait a week, there's no problems. Uh, the carbureted minis, you're going to deal with the same sort of issues. You're going to be dealing with any sort of carbureted car. There's a lot more that can, I won't say go wrong, but the sort of things that, that might require tuning. But uh, I'm in a... In one of the last mini productions, the multi-point injection MPI uh, fuel injected minis, which are computer controlled by an onboard ECU from I think it was a Rover, the Rover Range Rover Defender. I want to say ah yeah 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 yeah. Don't, don't look at the chat ever. And the, uh, the MPI minis, so from 1986 onward, are, they're not considered, I mean, there's question as to whether or not they're desirable. I highly, highly desirable be because as they're uh, computer controlled and timed, they're extremely reliable in terms of starting and running to the point where it's, uh, I drive it as a daily because it can be driven as a daily. I don't have any issues with rust, and rust doesn't really attack things in Victoria thanks to the way our wind works. We don't salt our road. Well, I mean, we absolutely do salt our roads, but I don't drive on them when they're salted. And yeah, there is a surprising amount of space in them. Oh, if Adam was my co-pilot? Absolutely, I'd still take the Mini. We were just talking the other day that I think uh, he'd just seen my car for the first time in person uh, just recently. I think it was during our last, uh, our last thing that we filmed. Which would have been... Hmm. Maybe we met up at the moon base for something. I can't remember now. Oh, Taishani, yeah. Uh, mini engine swaps are uh, many and varied. Putting some of the uh, the VTEC spec Honda engines is pretty popular. Uh, 
one of my favorites and the one that I always consider doing was a uh, putting in a Hayabusa motorcycle engine. The trouble with that is that you no longer have a reverse gear, so what some people will do is they'll fit a electric motor that is specifically just for reverse. <laughs> yes, it would have been the uh, the ice cream thing. Thank you, that's where uh, Adam saw it. Uh, but yeah, the nice thing about the, the motorcycle engine swaps for minis is that you get a sequential uh, gearbox because you're still using that motorcycle gearbox. God, I, I loved doing the car tag thing. It was so much fun. My... That one point where uh, I, I just missed people coming out of the park was because I tried to give myself a, a challenge to never stop unless coming to a, a stop sign. Because if you're stopped and looking around, you can only, you're, you're covering less ground. Uh, sorry, sir. Service, uh, my Mini is a 1998 model, and people may question, like, wow, that's young. That's because they were made in, well, they were made for the Asian market, uh, all the way up to 2000, and in fact were, they were just made in general all the way up to that point. Whoop. They just weren't sold in North America, I think, for some reason. It says you want to see Ian in a t original 2003 original VW Beetle from Mexico. I mean, would love to do that. That's super cool. Uh, that said, of the late model production vehicles, the one I'd love to do is go to India and uh, the old Royal Enfield factories and uh, ride one of those super old bikes. Or rather, new production super old bikes. Or honestly, just Honda Cub me. Get me to and Super Cub. on this line. Drive like I mean it. Ah, uh, Hexy, I... <laughs> Do I have space for art? Absolutely not at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, I still have a bunch of art that I have yet to hang, and we are running out of space, and I need to get some of it framed. Some of it I have left way too long. I've got a Mondo Aliens poster with the, the glowing alien uh, that needs to be framed and put up, and I need to spend a little time better mounting my uh, Battle Royale Pass poster that is seen in most episodes of Tinker Tailor Sold or Fry these days. As for your question about back in a tie, uh, that would be the Kiryu version. Probably zero, actually. That said, there's a number that I haven't heard yet, so that could change. Arclight, I would love that. I would love to bring back old designs, but. Unfortunately, regulation and the combination of government regulation and capitalism is going to make that nigh impossible. Not to mention the, the environmental aspect. Like, I would love to see 
my dream would be to bring back the, uh, the, the, the mini factory bodies and just make a fleet of electric vehicles that are just meant for bombing around the city in short trips. Yep. Uh, and see, that arc light is where things start to fall down, the modern safety stuff. So my, my Mini, the 1998 model, does have an airbag, which I really actually should delete. Uh, not because airbags are bad, but because airbags go bad. And I think that it may have, uh, may have expired its life. So I'll have to uh, have a mechanic deal with that for me. Replace would be nice, Jaded, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility given how old the airbag design is. Like we, I, I just think it's not a part that's available anymore. Worth checking, but... Yeah. And uh, while it does have side impact beams, one of the things I love about the Mini uh, is just how thin the A-pillar is. And one of the regulations, uh, specifically European regulations, that kind of killed the original Mini was uh, uh, crush resistance and rollovers and, uh, and front impacts, which the A-pillar needs to be pretty, uh, pretty safe with. So there's, there's absolutely no way we could get the original Mini to meet modern safety standards, which is a shame because it's nice to be safe. Like I, I won't say that the safety standards are too strict because that's just a foolish thing to say but I do wish that there was a way that we could maintain the sleekness and the lightness especially of, uh, of older cars in modern times yeah yeah oh yeah no fit a cage to the mini He's absolutely a, uh, an option. <laughs> but then instead of a, uh, a thicker A-pillar, now you've got a, an inner A-pillar. And John log has got a real, uh, got the real rub there that, uh, cars... I, I, I won't say would, I would say could be safer, lighter, and cheaper if they did not have to uh, compensate for S and compete against SUVs. And when I say compete, I mean compete in the arena of crash tests. It was interesting, I was, I was reading the, uh, an article about a study that was recently done on cars and uh, at crashes and survivability, and counter to uh, the prevailing wisdom, or at least counter to the way people talk about why they like SUVs, that makes them feel safe. Turns out it does make you slightly safer in the event of a collision. Uh, it also makes you a menace and a greater danger to just about everyone else on the road. And trucks, don't even get me started on those. Like the new the new electric Ford F-150, the Lightning, hell of vehicle, good lord. But is it something I need or would ever need? Absolutely not. I, I picked up a membership to a uh, Moto, which is uh, uh, the the Vancouver and Vancouver Island based one of the uh, co-op car share, specifically because I wanted to have access to their their trucks and vans when I need them. Because for 1990, 99 percent of the driving I do 
the Mini is not only sufficient, but is kind of perfect. And to be completely honest, I don't need a car at all. And unfortunately, in this day and age, that comes with a certain amount of privilege to be able to say, yes, I can just walk to work and everything I need is within a walking distance and I can just have my groceries delivered. Like, not everyone's in that situation, which is really one of the most unfortunate parts of it. I think vehicle ownership should never have to be a requirement. And I'm on the record as saying that I don't think that work should be a requirement. So, well, let's leave it at that. Yeah, no, the like for, for a contractor or anyone, like it's even a tinkerer myself. Hell, even for a good. Uh, a good vacation, you know, just going out camping. The F-350 Lightning is a, such a good truck. Hello, I will be your generator forever. Please allow me to power your tools and equipment. Local chaos? Yeah, I'd love to do car tag or lure man hunt again. Yep, the Ford F-150 is the best selling vehicle in North America and has been for decades. And that tells me more about North America than it does about the F-150, I think. with the, uh, the good takes on the Chevy Bolt. Yeah, like it turns out there's a lot of good options for EVs these days, and they're only getting better. said, I currently have a friend who is uh, probably right now in their local GM uh, dealership uh, dealing with the current uh, whatchamacusets, recalls, the recall issues with uh, some of the EVs that are happening. Damn it! I wanted to hold on to that. Should have given it some more gas! I just noticed something about this car's dash that surprises me. It doesn't look like the needles are lit. Okay. Whoa. Now that I think about it, all the people I knew who used to be uh, 
who used to be truck drivers because they liked the utilitarianness of the truck and the sparseness and how useful they were. They now all uh, are driving those smaller Ford van, uh, delivery vans, the white panel ones. And again, I think that's because that's where, the, because they're still commercial vehicles. And the, uh, the base level F-150, and most pickup trucks for that matter, have now become consumer vehicles first. That are sometimes adapted to commercial use. too much speed being carried in there. Double truck. Hello, truck. Yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is more trucks like this, please. Yeah, it's, it's legal definitions that are interesting with the regards to e-bikes versus motorcycles. And that's why you need the pedal assist versus throttle assist. It's also what caused the, uh, the light truck slash SUV to come into existence. Too much throttle. Mm. Ah, yes, the chicken tax. <laughs> Do we have transit vans over in North America? If you mean by like transit, the uh, Ford Transit, the the model? I believe we do, yes. That's it, yep. <laughs> that was a money shift. I should know better. Back to the pits. Oh, got to stretch out the back there. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, give ourselves another couple laps here and then uh, see what's what. I should think, uh, Saber Pilot for tossing us some bits there and decided if I should cheer for Quattro or Char. Good, good catch. Ard Reese coming in for 56 months of subscription. Dan Bjorn for 57 months of subscription. JS1813, 54 months. Le Big Mac, 
has subscribed for 44 months. Desert Best looks quite different. Cotillion, 1850, subscribed for 29 months. And Doom, 4114, for 34 months. Thank you all for that continued support. Here we go. Yeah, my favorite panel then is the big, uh, the big Nissan, uh, not Nissan, uh, it's the Mercedes slash Dodge joint. See a lot of those out here that have been converted into, uh, motorhomes. And they're quite, in quite pleasant. Breaking, but lighter on the brake. Sprinter, that's it, yes. Zythrogar, uh, it would be possible. Um, it would take a significant, uh, not a significant, but a, an amount of work that is more than I'm willing to commit to it right now because I don't know how to do it because and therefore I can't give you an uh, accurate estimate. That said, uh, if you're a part of the Discord, uh, bang, bang Discord in the chat, uh, we spin up the Lermans channel generally a month or so before the, uh, the event. Uh, we'll keep it up for a bit after the race because we're going to brainstorm some stuff that we might want to see next year. Assuming we continue on in Assetto Corsa 1. So I don't think Assetto Corsa 2 is scheduled to be released before then. Yeah, sorry, I'm definitely uh, breaking early on account of comfort right now. But yeah, if you'd like to be uh, to help us out, and if you're curious about uh, modding a set of Corsa, or at least want to drop some suggestions, that's the place to do it. It has not been a different game every year, Angry Optimist. We've done it uh, out of the five times. I think we've done it twice now in a set of Corsa, and three times in Project Cars, I want to say. Oh yeah, a set of Cars is old. Uh, that's why it needs... Well, it doesn't need, but that's why I recommend anyone who's going to check it out. And I mean, for what? It gets down to between five and fifteen dollars, depending on which Steam sale you're uh, you're running. But when you uh, add Content Manager and specifically Content Manager's easy access to the custom shader pack, it looks much less like a game from 2004 and much more like a game from today. Ah, yes, that's right. Twice in Project Cars 1 and once in Project Cars 2. That was it. Which do I prefer? Uh, Project Cars or Assetto Corsa? They both have their own uses. I think Project Cars does a much better job at uh, giving you a career single-player mode. And they definitely have a better AI and support for 24-hour races. Whether an actual day-to-night changing. This is a hack, but a very good one. Yeah, I'd say a set of course personally is one of the best uh, one of the best examples to give for you don't always have to buy and play the newest thing. Sometimes what's old and cheap is actually really, really good and still very much worth playing. The other thing that Project Cars doesn't have that Assetto Corsa 
does have is a copious mod community. Like, I don't think... I think the Quattro Sport is the only car that we're currently running in this race that is original content. This... this track? Mod! Uh, the buses? Obviously mods! Started breaking way too soon there. Buses are just as murderous as they've always been. Jesus, Bobby! Too much power on that thing. Seed awakening of a trail breaker. Oh, yeah. Race director said, See nothing because the race director has no eyes. I took them away. Ah, that was one of the best scenes in any type of media when uh, Bato has his vision hacked in Ghost National Standalone Complex. It's the raw rage there over that. My, my, uh, much was shifting. No, 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 no! Ugh. Well, thank you so much for that, uh, that sub. I'll probably double up on you there, but, uh, wanted to save it for watch and play, but this is only once a year. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That said, I'm sure everyone is extremely excited for the return of the, D the WPs. And yes, fair, as, uh, as Earth and One says. It's been more than a year on that, too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this is not a. Uh, nighttime is never the good time. Which leads me to wonder why do I always set up the France time? But I'm at my most prime driving skill during the day. Oh, right, no, I do it for the, uh, for the forced cognitive dissonance of daytime versus nighttime. Because I think I'm funny. times when people leave you alone. It's <laughs> a good point. That said, I haven't, uh... I haven't heard anyone, uh, join in on the Discord, but that's fine. This is not a, uh, a call for chatting. It just makes me wonder if I've broken it somehow. I think we might be in a fog situation. say 
I'm going to do one more of these laps, and then I'm going to need to get some FUD. Yes, yes, I, uh, I did bring the Discord back up, and I am in the channel, so I'm going to double check that that's the bang case. Yep, yep, still in. Crunch, 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 crunch. Everything's fine. Just dragging some gravel, that's all. like that one. Okay, let's keep it nice and clean. Break about there. Nope, not there. Break it where it says pits. There we go. That managed to bleed off the speed without too much. Didn't bleed any there. And then we're all out of gas. Okay. Let's get ourselves up to speed and do a real good one, right? Right? Here we go. This time for real. Oh no, my suspension. clean lap. A clean lap and a fresh transmission. That's all I ask. It. Like Bright does. Yeah, at least the headlights are up. The entire right-hand side of the car seems to be uh, having some issues. Actually, this is good. We're coming up on uh, lap five of six, too, which is uh, means we can use some more fuel. There we go. Everything gets replaced. down a bit too much there but as we know the car's suspension is in a state of distress the sound of white noise this is what I've been saying the whole time Oh, I agree, I'm just doing that. Is that an extrapolation or is that a count so far? Nine transmissions? Okay. So that's so not so bad. Oh, 
all random trivia. I, I prefer not to think of it as destroying transmissions so much as we've used them up. You know, they're they're good, and now it's time for them to be sent out to uh, sent out to stud. You know, to meet a nice automatic transmission out there in the fields and just do what comes naturally. That's how you get limited slip differentials. Back of that van is not looking great. It could also be that these synchro plates appear to be made out of shag carpeting. So. How to get by two buses that don't want you to do that. Drive slightly off the track. That's how. Okay. Don't forget to pit. Ford, Ford. Okay. Everything survived intact, too. That's pretty good. Okay, folks. Um... I'm just going to throw it into the pit here, and then I'm going to take a short break, and uh, coming back from that should be cool, but we'll see how that is. Ah. Where's the rumble strip? Is there a rumble strip? There's not a rumble strip. M, M Derek okay. I don't think so. And pit. Perfect. Okay. Like we said, I'm uh, going to do a quick uh, break, break. Uh, then we'll be back with more of the 24 Hours of Le Mans Endurance Race. After this, don't go away. Hello, folks. We are back with more of the 24 Hours of Le Mans here on the Mighty Loading Ready Run Video Entertainment Network. My name's Ian, I am your host and primary driver for today's uh, festivities. Are we all prepared to watch Ryo Hazuki disappear into his own... Mm, into his own mind? Ah. Yes, unfortunately there was a bit of a scheduling miss so I'll be driving for a bit longer yet before I get to take an extended break. But it was nice to get up and stand and wander around for a bit and stretch these legs, maybe find a... Ooh, that's a moon. Found something that might work for a chalk. I've got some uh, towels down underneath my, my chair. And we're about to... Ooh! God, that, what a beautiful moon. We're about to engage in one of my favorite uh, activities, eating on stream. Let's enjoy ourselves a nice big aisle. Uh, well, that mostly worked. All right. It's a shame that it requires a restart to uh, change my some of my soul plans because I'm now thinking I'd like to do a 300 times well not 300 times 300% moon but 
much like Piccolo, I am here to blow up the moon. Okay, let's, uh... We have fallen behind significantly, have we not? Bro, she did it first. <laughs> Rainer Greca, uh, it's a good day. It's a good day when we get a chance to drive around the track. On the Cirque de Sar, here in beautiful downtown, I don't know which part of France this is in. Oh, sorry, I just got ex I got uh, excited by the talk of the hydrogen-powered car. Hey, how is the accessibility car uh, doing this year? Lego truck, Lego car, right? Like, what is this vehicle that has suddenly encountered my space? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Like, my car isn't making that noise. Oh, it's Amuro. That's the line I wanted. That felt much better than some of our previous laps, especially at night. I'm shifting into second at all the wrong times. I probably shouldn't be shifting the second almost at all. That needed a bit more. Ooh, that's a rough one. Okay, we're gonna balance. Because I can't get my knee up high enough. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, maybe I can.
definitely have to uh, uh, get flex. I also moved the couch for this event, um, which was a problem because that hasn't been vacuumed under uh, for a while. Not going to lie. Is that one? Yep. <laughs> I this second rule absolutely applies in the car. Yeah, it's been a bit of a cursed, uh, cursed run, but we're making it happen. We work makes the team work. Okay, let's see if I can get another bite in. Sounds not so good. Slow but clean. I'm okay with that. That let's keep it down while we get this in us. much better. Yeah, I mean, us getting to win a Lermans is a, uh, it's maybe a someday thing. Oh god, that's, what's wrong? Oh, I got a bit of issues with my front left Suspo. Front left is sussed. Meanwhile, truck's leaning like a cleaner. Okay, we're just gonna pop a cheeky around the curb. Probably should go to the pits, but we have to keep up our our currently not great position. Which car on the leaderboard is Ian? Currently none, because I've slipped down to 24th place, which takes me off the leaderboard. Yeah, I did a nasty on the transmission. Should be in third for this. Should probably also have full suspension if we're going to attempt these. Yes, yes. 
that's how the sickos do it. Okay, up to fifth, and then uh, let's balance. Don't forget there's a slight bend. It's all about balance. Hmm. Hello, ball. Welcome. Sadly, real race cars don't have brake screens that you can just pop up whenever you feel like it. say that the uh, when it comes to things like exhausted drivers 24 hours of Lermans is a cautionary tale mm. that felt like I'm learning that one felt like I could have gotten out of it if I'd pulled back on the throttle just a bit And yeah, the headlights survived. That's an important thing. Whoop. Be gentle with the car. <laughs> but Paul, it's all part about being on a team. Some some drivers may be better than others, but as a whole, we can make it to Gant. there. Alright, I think I might just pit us early for purposes of uh, I mean, we'll, we'll need that fuel but I definitely want the repairs. not recoverable. Something got crunched there, though. This is not going well. Okay, two things once we get to uh, pits. One, open the window wider. This airflow is necessary at this point. And two, scarf down some Chinese food. That's where we're feeling the pressure. Okay, and very quickly. Oh, there's auto drive, right? Absolutely, there is. There is not auto drive. I 
am a menace. Oh, here we go. Enjoy progress, Mars. Hmm. Very nice. It's a lot of fuel they've got to pump into this thing. There is absolutely a uh, double decker bus. Oh, uh, what happens if Gantt stopped being a sponsor? I mean, we we still have to mod the double Gantt back in here for our just for our peace of mind. Seventy-six hours on a flight sounds... That's too much. That is too much. Wait a minute, is this a... It's an overtake! Take that, team truck. Everything's on rails. Watch that corner. Barely held, but uh, any landing you can walk away from. Lord Serrano, the answer to that question is meth. I'm, and I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure that uh, that particular flight, guessing that happened during the, uh, the golden age of amphetamines. That shouldn't work. Yeah, I wish I was joking too. Actually, what I wished, wished was that we had a functioning uh, medical system in North America in general, such that we could still be uh, using amphetamines for useful purposes, like say, allergy relief. seems to be doing pretty well for themselves. Nice to have Sabine out there. Yeah, 
there's a really good book about the, uh, is it High Times? No, no, High Times is a different book. But there's a, a book specifically about the use of amphetamines and other narcotics uh, in the Third Reich. Absolutely fascinating stuff. Blitz, thank you. Thank you, Arclight. sometimes is unstable. That's my own fault. Actually, if anyone, were to, if anyone were to ask me what the weirdest thing is right now, it's not seeing my own face in the bottom left-hand corner of this car. Interior. Like what you all get to see at home right now. Too much. Lark sarcosis. Yes, I am indeed mirrored. Otherwise, how else would this, uh, would the steering wheel be going in the same direction? Sorry if I ruined the game for you or anyone out there who is actually attempting to figure that out. Gotta work on that corner a bit, but at least we're, uh, at least we're driving smooth. Yes, I mean, I'm mirrored. Can't you tell by the part in my hair? Okay, I'm gonna give, oops. I would say that is a legal, if extremely dangerous, corner. No, no, Pixel, uh, Pixel Art Dragon, uh, the, the goatee isn't from the Mirrored Universe. That's, uh, that's, that's entirely coincidental. Uh, the goatee is here because uh, I'm from the Arrowverse as well. to nudge the uh, sidekick up there to uh, prevent burn-in. Mission failure. Shouldn't have shifted there. I 
I mean, the transmission isn't failed right now, it's just, uh, it's resting. Much slowing there, but safe turn. That'll take a safe turn over a crash any day, buddy. got yanked. Well, I have done some practicing for this event. I haven't done a lot of night driving, so... Also, we're well and truly in the fast and loose phase of, uh, of Lermans right now. was again another early shift. a full second off the uh, front end here. Okay, and let's turn into it. Nope. Nope. Still headlights. So I'm definitely not going to need to uh, at least tap the brakes there. deal with a bit of heavier braking there. run out of disk space. Thank goodness for VODs. Ooh, nope. No, 
Oh, double vision women's car! Come back! Shift in. Walk your walk your gears down. The three shifts are in order? That's great. Okay, finally we're making We're making positions back up. Which means we need to get we need this transmission to hold for another five laps. I, and also the suspension. I don't know if we want to do that. Get too much speed off that turn. find some better shocks. Pull my chair. Sadly, truck is not on our list, but we'll have to still get by them in order to keep progressing. Okay, look out, truck. We just lost it there. You know what? Let's 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 go visit our friends in the little pit area. We can catch Gora later. Let's follow truck. Yep, wait, what? You whoo! Yes, yes, yes. Oh. The Gant joke is really nothing more than it's funny to say Gant. nice with each other, okay? Okay. Uh, so that'll give us some stability here. A bit. Gant is a pants... The Gant pant! Clockwork Penguin, fair guess that it's an anime thing, but not this time. A 
Although that said, manga and anime are getting big enough as an industry and in terms of a uh, cultural uh, influence that I'm gonna, I, I'm putting it out there right now. They're big enough that uh, not understanding an anime reference should carry as much social stigma as not understanding a sports ball reference of some sort. You don't know who Luffy is? Fine with me. I don't know who Barry Bonds is. I assume he was some sort of baseball investor, given the name. I mean, that's, uh, Jordan? That's, that's one thing. On the other hand, uh, I would say that that also only works for the NFL, the uh, NBA, and the uh, NHL, or MLB, or whatever bullshit. Yes, there are a few big ones. That's a question I get asked occasionally. Uh, I actually just use uh, whatever's the cheapest I can find cream-wise, which currently is uh, Gillette's... Uh, no, it's Edge. That's right, because it's what I can find at Costco. Previously, I've used Pro Rasso in a can, which was nice. Uh, and we'll see what else I can find at Winners when I'm able to go back on a more regular basis. Thank you, Lord Host. I was I was wondering about uh, what Barry Bonds' deal was. I wish I could recommend something good for uh, cream wise, but the last time I did that, I got heavily involved in the Harry's uh, line of products. I like their soaps, they're quite nice. Unfortunately, they got bought out by Gillette recently. By recently, I mean in the past couple of years. Or was it Chic? I don't know. I, wait, it was one of the two big ones. And I got really upset about that because their whole point was to not be one of the two biggers. kind of done with even thinking about any sort of a uh, system with a new disposable head technology. Oh, Schick is also a brand of Gillette. Perfect. Perfect. So there is only the one company now, again. Like, it was really cool because Harry, the people behind Harry's, bought the factory in Germany. Restarted it up because they uh, had experience making blades there and figured, well, I mean, this is the only way we're going to be able to do this. All right, Sexto, why are you in 12th place? How? How? Never like it. Never feels good. Okay, and ease our way through here. Roll that throttle on.
Angry Optimus, yes. Harry's is the one we've been talking about. Or at least I've been talking about for the past little while here. Oh yeah, I mean, the, there is so much, uh, cl not collaboration, uh, what's the word? Consolidation of production in the world right now under uh, huge mega brands that it's, I wouldn't put it past people to not know where, uh, where any of their things come from, and that the majority of them are related. Cuddle Fishman is... Cuddle Fishman asks, why is Char red? And, uh, I mean, the, the, the... It should be obvious that it makes this car three times faster than the average Quattro Sport. Which is why there's only one Quattro Sport out here right now. It, 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 that, that, that's an anime reference. Hey, welcome Sugar Shot and the sweet treats of your candy crew. Hope you like uh, staring out the front window of a, I want to say, late, a mid 80s wrench car. Uh-oh. Can we... I don't know how we saved that. I mean, we didn't really save it, but... Some sort of spicy Gundam. Oh, why'd you give me the spicy Gundam? Damn it, Camille! The spicy Shiki, maybe? Why is Turney the best Gundam series? Well, we're doing this now, are we? Well, if you recall, it was fifth in my, or fourth, or third, in my list of uh, favorite Gundam series. I posted on Twitter earlier this week. Uh, it is up there because it is absolutely gorgeous in its animation and character design. It pays tribute to the Universal Century in an interesting way. Uh, it reimagines the idea of what a giant robot series, what a real robot series is in uh, in the mid 90s. Like up to that time, the idea of a uh, a giant robot show taking place in pre-industrial times was that was that was the sort of thing you used to see back in the 70s, but not so much during the uh, the 90s. Oh, that was my top five. Thank you, Better uh, better Seasons. And Stardust Memories, Zeta, Turne, Reconquista, Unicorn. And I expect that list to change significantly by the time I'm finished watching uh, the first Gundam. The original TV series. Because watching the TV series is very different from watching the compilation films. And, uh, after what I did with the Ideon, I feel like, yeah, it's definitely important to watch the series and not just the compilation films. Reckon Geist over Iron Blood Orphans? Absolutely! Iron Blood Orphans was great, but it wasn't, uh... It wasn't spectacular, and it wasn't the Gundam series. 
I kid, I kid. But you, you, you know me. Or you, well, I should come with a disclaimer. One should know me. I only recognize the UC. And technically, Reconquista fits there. But Reconquista was such a wonderful fever dream of absolute joy amongst all of the characters that it's, uh... I will absolutely put it over top of uh, Iron Boat Orphans, which was a much more standard story, but a very well-told and well-animated one. Oh. F91. That's gonna be a, uh... That's gonna be a watch that'll happen after uh, I get Corey to watch Char's counterattack, and then we can watch Hathaway's flash together. Okay, that's good. Next time we'll avoid uh, Lieutenant Char. Yeah, Unicorn has a very unenviable job of telling a story, a, a compelling story, uh, cheap in the, in, in a pit of exposition from, I want to say, nearly 40 years at that point. Was it 35 when Unicorn came out as a series? Anyway, I think the thing I love about Unicorn is that it had this unenviable job, and it really stuck the landing. It's a pretty good jumping in point for Gundam, especially for things going forward. Uh, and I think that's what they're definitely trying to do with Hathaway, the, the three films upcoming, and they're doing doing some spectacular work there too. We just, yep, we, that's me. Bet you're wondering how I got into this situation. I'll tell you by shifting. Back to the pits. Oh, which is good because I need to stretch in an interesting way here for a second. Ah. Okay. Uh, watch in. Watch in. Oh, what's transmission eleven? Oh, angry optimist. I mean, Hathaway has a much worse time in. Uh, in the novelization and comic book version of uh, Char's counterattack, Belchkor's children. But that said, uh, I don't think you're supposed to find him likable in those times. He's meant to be an, imp an, an impulsive youth. Like, it's, it's, I think what you're supposed to take away from that is, he's a 13-year-old boy, and 13-year-old boys don't really react all that rationally all the time. And yes, Angry Optimized, Angry Optimist, 
points out the other. There's a lot going on emotionally with new types. And also Tomi No. And his relationship to uh, parental figures and uh, romantic relationships. I was reading the chat too much because I was trying to make recommendations. Never do that. No, shifting. I don't know if you're interested in if you're interested in getting into Gundam. Um, like this is a. This is something I struggled with when Jacob uh, made his uh, fateful post on Twitter a while back about wanting to get into Gundam. And I always want to ask people the question, is it, what do you want out of this? Because there are a few different things. Do you just like giant robots? Well, if that's the case, hop in anywhere and you'll, you'll have a good time. But if you want uh, a long drawn out series of series, there's the UC, there's a lot of different variety within the UC, or at least there used to be. Do you like wrestling and ridiculousness and not care about the UC? G Gundam may be for you. Were you 18 in the 90s? You should watch Gundam Wing. Because you probably already wa probably bleh, probably already watched Gundam Wing, and boy, if that's your introduction to Gundam, that's that's gonna poison your outlook. someone was into the Gundam build series uh, those those are an interesting take also be aware that I am not the a representative uh, take on anything god those are pretty sparks ride on you crazy Zeta Are we about to... No, we're not about to... 
to lap Don Guard because Don Guard, oh boy, is far ahead of us. Yeah, I always forget about that little turn here. Honestly, I think if I was to give any advice with regards to anime right now, Gundam or... Ah, uh, you know what? F it. We're just going through. The only way out is through. If I were to give any piece of advice regarding animation or anime, the only one I'm going to give right now is uh, go out and find something that was made before you were born and watch, watch that. Because, boy, there's a lot of really, really good older anime out there. Uh, well, honestly, I'm actually not excited for Gundam Evolution. Um, unless there's been um, some major changes in gameplay and such between the teaser trailer and the rest of it. It looks a lot like it's just Counter-Strike with... Uh, with Gundam skins on, and that's not why I play the gun. My, that's not why I want to play Gundam games. There's, there's no feeling of weight there. There's no. It's gonna be cool. But... Okay, that could have gone down a second there, probably, safely. Seeing some very good uh, series show up there in the chat. Yeah, I did play a lot. Last one, I did play a lot of uh, battle operations too. It was it was fun. Unfortunately, it, I never ended up uh, getting any of the mobile suits I actually really liked, so kind of fell off that one pretty hard. I mean, fact of the matter is, I only ever want to uh, fly a Zeta. Just really want to pilot a Zeta. See, Angry Optimus, the problem is what I want out of a Gundam game is I want it to feel good. And unfortunately, the the, the whole, the entire concept of the uh, Universal Century Gundam series have been uh, kind of... They're kind of at odds with that because, yes, they, they are more real robot -y than some other Gundam series. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for the funnels and the uh, and, and the sortie battles. They look good and they they, they feel good. Like I, I think I'm honestly happier watching Gundams fight than I am trying to make them fight. Sub Hype 100, congratulations, community! You've unlocked double digits. And I've unlocked the color red on my transmission. I guess that just means it's red hot. <laughs> Earthworm, one of my favorite games. I think we just ruined that one. Yep, we did. I am just the worst at this.
Triple digits, yes, yes, triple digits. What did I say? Forget what I said. Oh no, funnels are not absolutely, uh, they're, they're not real things, but they are def, as much as Gundam is still the progenitor of the real robot, life uh, subgenre you know as opposed to giant robots like Zambot 3 and uh, Titans 3 Gigantor etc Super robots, yes, thank you, Penguin. Provo. I've always saying to Taichani about the uh, the one game. It's my favorite uh, Gundam arcade game. There were two arcade games at the time when I was living in Japan. One was Gundam Pod Battler, which was a uh, hell of a lot of fun. The uh, Kizuna no Senju, Senju no Kizuna, yeah, Bonds of the Battlefield, and you're in a pod, double joysticks, it was a lot, double pedals, it was super cool, uh, but the one that was contemporaneous to that was a Gundam collectible card game real-time strategy. You would you know, get get cards out of booster packs from machines. At the end of every game you played, you got a mini booster pack that would give you, I think, one to three cards. And I think it might have been also weighted based on your uh, performance. But uh... spin around. Yep, there we go. But you would load up your your these uh, five packs. It was like kind of like a f accordion five pack of plastic. And you'd put your pilot in, your uh, your mobile suit, and then any accessories that would go with that. And you would fold them up so that it's a single card on top. And you could you would move your cards around on the sensor table while the battle field played out in front of you on this little screen. You'd also have a uh, a big trackball for uh, for making selections and whatnot. And then, of course, this is one of those multi-link systems. So there are like eight of these uh, these stations lined up with a gigantic screen all in front of them that was giving uh, real-time battle reports over the the Federation versus Zeon uh, holdings over that particular portion of the One-Year War that you were currently engaged in. And of course, if you were doing really well, your battle would get uh, put up on the big screen. When will we see it on? Is this your card? Unlikely that we're going to get to see that one because of the uh, sheer amounts of uh, special equipment required. Anne-Marie's in 29th because she keeps running off the road. I think I hear another Renault. Also, I feel like I missed my opportunity to name one of these cars Jean. Imagine uh, holding on for dear life. Don't touch the wall, don't touch the wall. Don't touch the bus, don't touch the bus. Get back on gear, get back on gear.
And now Anne Murray is in 29th place. So I guess we'll pass her eventually. Seventh, welcome to the uh, channel. Uh, it's going pretty good today, despite some incredibly cursed uh, starts and uh, progressions. We had a power outage. Okay, that actually felt really good. I feel like I could pick that up pretty easy. I think I found a breaking point. I uh, just wonder if it's going to work next time. That's Gundam Card Battler. I think that is the... Oh boy, we're not going to make this turn. <clears throat> Forgot that there is more of a wall there than it seems. Right. Let's, uh... Let's go back to the pits. I didn't want to go back to the pits this soon. I wanted to have a little bit more time on the engine. Yeah, transmission's fine. That's great. So, uh... Don't chalk up another transmission for us. Okay, so that first flash, I think, might be just an indication of what got replaced, because that time it was the engine and the hood, and not the transmission, so... That's my theory. I mean, what do we want to bet that the transmission saw it coming and just said, ah, oh, no, I'm out of here. And just left the car. I seem to remember reading about a car like that that would either drop the engine just pre-collision, or maybe it was an electric car that would drop batteries just pre-collision. I can't remember if that was something that actually happened and which car it was. Good point, Draconite! This is a mid-engine car! How did that happen? Don't worry about it. Okay, I think I need to carry more speed into there than I did. Are there mech stories that are just about adult soldiers? Yes, John Wong, you need to check yourselves out. Uh, little show called Armored Trooper Votoms uh, or Pat Labor. Though Pat Labor is uh, a bit more of a police drama slash sometimes comedy, but it's still absolutely worth checking out. Oh yeah, 8th MS Team is also good. Uh, Gundam Thunderbolt is also uh, was also very close to being on the list, and that I believe is all adults. 
What was the first one? Uh, John Log, uh, Armored Trooper Votoms. V-O-T-O-M-S. Which is an acronym, which I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's not a good one. I seem to remember the uh, the ejecting engine being a. Uh, and by the way, this is not ejecting like over the top of the car. This is just like a drop it on the ground. I think it was a Mercedes. is excellent yeah there's it's one of those ones that i think is worth picking up especially uh, in the category of watching something from before you were born really should not get used to driving through this. <laughs> it's just gonna end terribly like that. Give it some space and go ahead. What I could not believe was that the Warner Brothers are up in, and the Warner Sister are up in position eight. Yeah, original Macross, definitely. I, I always forget about original Macross. I think because it was because A it was good and B Macross 7 existed too. Which is also very good and worth checking out. I mean, it's like good. It's it's an amazing, uh, weirdly pacifist Macross tale that was made, I think, before they decided to settle on their formula of Macross is about love triangles. And I mean, I guess they kind of did have a love triangle in that as well. I watched first Macross as uh, as Robotech as well. So, and Murray, how do you even drive? Have a good one, TCA TXC2. We will see you next time, or in, or in the vlog.
Yep, Robotech's getting another Blu-ray release. And we might actually get to see Macross on Blu-ray in North America sometime soon, legally. I would absolutely not uh, recommend that anyone do a full watch of everything with the word Gundam in it. There's just way too much of it. And there's, like there's some of it that's not even very good. And I don't even mean that it is in, in a, I don't like non Yoshi stuff, but. But there's also such tonal shift that it's... What's the machete order of Gundam? I'm not even gonna get into that. <laughs> Thankfully, most of them are, if you want to watch them in in-universe chronological order, they're pretty well laid out there. <laughs> Honestly, I think if, if you are absolutely gunning to do a, uh, a full rewatch of everything that is Gundam. I think the only sane method of doing that is to watch them uh, via release date. Because otherwise you're going to end up with some very weird uh, shifts in terms of animation, tone, characters, sensibilities production companies, toy availability, small engine repair, accounting. Ask if Anaheim Electronics College via mail is right for you. Yes, that was G Gundam. <laughs> G Gundam was fun. Right. Okay, it's not quite that. Yeah, I, I think I've got the, the big difference I have amongst most people, or the majority of people I run into of my generation, and just beforehand who, uh, who are also Gundam fans and people who got into anime via... is that they got into anime via television. Like it was literally Sailor Moon or... and Dragon Ball Z and Gundam Wing or G Gundam. I didn't have cable growing up. But what I did have was 
a, uh, a Japanese animation club at a university that I started going to when I was, uh, 16. <laughs> Drive there after band practice every Monday. Drive back home at 9 p.m. and get back at 10. In retrospect, I had very supportive parents. And so that way I got... I, I wasn't watching uh, what was on TV. I was getting exposed to, you know, Evangelion straight Hot off the uh, the subtitlers, duplicating these SVHS tapes, and by hot off I mean after a good three to four week wait uh, in the post. Oh man, Escaflone. That was one of the first series I ended up watching at the club. And I was very pleased about that fact, because Escafone was one of the few shows I had seen on the broadcast television in, uh, during a short uh, Japanese home test. Or home test, home stay. Take night watch on the outside. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Could have attacked that corner a bit better. Dragonite streams. That that sounds kind of like what uh, what Bondi was was like at that time. Were they they were still Sunrise back then, weren't they? My chronology's off a bit. Also, if you ever wanted to know what it's like to be on a road trip with me, this is a pretty good indication, but with fewer uh, mechanical difficulties and crashes. That was a good clean lap for a terrible lap. Yalk, I'm not going to guarantee you zero crashes because, as I said earlier, it's all about risk reduction. But you can't... You can't know everything. I don't do everything in my power to... Uh, reduce the risk of crash and mechanical failure. But I cannot stop it if it's going to happen. Okay, that's, I think, my, closer to my line. Anyway, it's uh, fuel up time in a second. We've made it six laps. Good for us. Oh no, did Sabine uh, just completely conk out? Or real Sabine? whose fate is yet unknown. And yet, beyond the tangless reaches of space, 
beings far superior to our own, kept watch over Earth. That was a terrible butchering. But I hope y'all got the... the gist. Sabine is on the moon. Oh no, does that mean we're due for another, uh, another impact? I was worthy of her grace, so that's, uh... That's something. Draxoth asks, how would a car work on the moon? Well, thankfully, we have, uh, that's one of the few things that the world does have, uh, extrapolatable knowledge about. Ah, I hate it when that happens! Anyway, it's my old nemesis a truck. Let's, let's take care of it. That's the normal truck. Okay. Who's ready to play fuel chicken? Postman Pat and Autism! Delivering your mail as fast as they can! The human's name is Postman Pat and Autism has a back Edged cat, electric converter, auto zen, and postman pot. The song is over. And that is that. Who gave me a mic? Watch that back end whip and nay nay. Uh oh. Uh, I say the nay nay. Oh, right, right. Pits, 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 pits. I think I'm just gonna get out all the flags for me. Uh, yeah, you know what? Don't touch nothing else. Just give me that gas. That gas. Okay, so I guess we are, uh, yeah, speed limited here in the pits. Titanic, that is not ever anything to be embarrassed about because what that means is that you haven't seen any of the others yet. You get to see them for the first time, and for me, for my opinion, that's a. Uh, I call that a win. <laughs> Uh, Texan says, are you feeling the, finding the wheel's force feedback to be comfortably useful compared to the original? Yes. Oh god, this larger wheel is so much better to get a feel of. Uh, also, I not I don't find myself hitting paddles when I'm not supposed to. Mm. And the feedback itself is, is uh, you've got a little bit more torque to it, so it's easier to, easier to uh, figure out. All right, let's... Uh, Get the back on the road. Right one there. I 
want to say these these pedals though are uh, are where it, uh, where it makes my driving a Viking. So yes, great appreciation that. Uh, uh, Texas logo on the back of this car is well earned. Actually, uh, Texan, it's, it's actually the it, it, I find it's the opposite that having a larger wheel like this, uh, while it uh, it might make the wheel work a bit harder, but the different the, the extra distance uh, definitely adds torque, so that the uh, the sensations are actually a bit more realistic and just simply having a a proper steering wheel to hold is a lot better in terms of getting that feedback too it's a lot of people auto Sam. I feel like that shift was just in time. Taking a uh, is traction control allowed at Le Mans? Yes, it is, Taichani. Uh, if and it's allowed in a uh, in the uh, sim as well. If it's something that is supported by the the car, this car does not have traction control in the I guess the traditional modern sense of a computer-controlled tapping of brakes to maintain stability. Oh, jumping point! Thanks for joining us for as long as you could. Uh, have a good one. slow down a lot more than I think I do there to be able to stay on the track, but once you get through it. Break when it says pit. Let go. Sail through those. Bring it down to second. And back on the throttle.
Sacranos, thank you for joining us as well for your amount of time. Uh, we'll see if we if you come back, but uh, if not, thanks for dropping by. Sneak by you? Yes, I can. Okay, let's try this again. Dip the brakes, turn in, and just kind of slide through Sexto. Our way. Okay, next time I'll make a little bit more of an effort to avoid the car, but I just wanted to see if that was a good line. And turns out, it is. Oh no. LMP crash race. Looking good. Let's maneuver over into position. Because they're going to need to break much sooner than I will. But oh god, the sparks are just beautiful. Ah! Now well, that bus is. Speaking of bussing things up, that chicane. I tried that would be a great idea, but yeah, it, it is. It's the aspect of getting the people the equipment and the uh, the desire to So that's why I'm, as usual, you know, now that I'm doing this drive, interested in exploring the idea of uh, community cups type things and track day races, but not making any promises this year. answer this year is I'm going to try to do more streams of the driving, but there is no promise. A full lap behind 21? Oh, we can do this. And once we've done that, then it's just a matter of reeling in the rest of these rascals. Break keeps the bot inside the lines. That was me tapping the brake and not the clutch. Could have been much worse. I see, we're already at a bit of a walk. Mm -hmm. 
what do I consider myself a respectable place in this race? Um, that's a hard question to answer because these AI are not in any way representative of real drivers. Like, I am absolutely going to try and get the highest rank I can, but... It's also different every year because I'm using a different car and uh, sometimes racing against different other cars. That said, um, I think we, 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 we were in the top 19, so I think we can absolutely, if we're not back in the top 19 by the time we finish, by the time we hit 2,000 laps, uh, then I don't think we're... I'll be surprised, honestly. That said, the number I care most about is going to be the one that... Uh, that flashes in the second to... Uh, middle left column. Because that's my PB, personal best. And if I... The number I'm reaching for right now is uh, 514. Because I think I oopsed into a, uh, into a fake good lap. How long is AI retired? Uh, AI retirement? AI retirement is quite common. A long repair seems less so. Oh, no, no, Mathis, see, uh, sorry, the, the, the 514 I'm talking about, because, yeah, that's right, I did hit a PB of 514 in this car. Uh, it's what I've been trying to hit because it, I got it in a Lancia Delta somehow. I'm going to assume through hacks during practice. Probably a fool's errand to hope to cross over into uh, a straight five lap would be very ambitious, I want to say. But I feel like we could absolutely get ourselves down below 510. With just a bit of... Uh, dedication. twitchy about this particular gearbox, it seems interesting. Uh, and switching to an automatic would, while it might save some gearboxes, would definitely make Ian very sad and probably not want to do this anymore. I really like rowing gears. Just a hypothetical, but I feel it's it, it's it's a good question and it's worth exploring. Ooh, 
that was probably a little bit too much of a uh, slow down to get into here. And now we're just... Now we're just ruining everything. sound is never not going to make me smile. <laughs> Rowing ten rows of years through the Rockies. Yeah, that could be, that would be a time. Something's happening here. Oh no, I have been behind in my, uh... That's a completely different thing. Good, we don't need to worry about that. wondering about uh, doing some pre-record stuff for Noting Ready Live. Thankfully it's not something I need to worry about just at this very moment. Okay, let's tap the brakes once more, cut that corner, swing your car from side to side. Don't shift down to second or you'll die. That is not something that we've done before, but that is absolutely the kind of thing I would love to do for a Tinker Tailor, and I don't know... No, I know exactly why I haven't thought about it recently, uh, and it's a little thing to do with a global pandemic. But absolutely, when we're all back in person, that uh, mixing together some wonton fillings, uh, or gyoza fillings, depending on how we want to do these things, uh, would be a lot of fun to do. And because... Uh, Especially because Gyoza has a uh, such a wide variety. Uh, it's certainly something we could end up doing with multiple Lurs men and Lurs, uh, Lurs of all Lur genders. But especially some of our more dietarily dictated ones. Yeah, you can call them gyoza, you can call them wontons, you can call them shumai, because that's a different thing entirely. Just, please, for the love of God, I, I'm begging you, stop calling them pot stickers. I, I just hate that word so much. Now, dumplings, if you absolutely have to, dumplings is Ian's 
access, uh, accessible, acceptable choice, but please just use the actual word. Things have a name for a reason. Tacitus, if if they're if it's big thick semolina flour and it's full of uh, and it's full of a stuffing, and you're gonna put sauce on it, absolutely call it a ravioli. I will stand by goofy ass, uh, ridiculous names for English language cuisine. That's fine. We, it's it's ours. We can call it whatever we want. But respect the food you're eating that's not your own. Oop, that's fourth gear. That's second, and that's too much power. Second is Nemesis. Star Trek movie. Do I get this annoyed about pesto? Um, actually, I prop if I knew more about pesto, I probably would. Can we do it this time? Just a little bit of that. Ho ho, I liked that one. Oh no, it's not that I have a problem with, uh, with, with, with the word pesto. I just have a feeling that there are things that are pesto that are enjoyed by a great number of people. And then there are things that are not pesto, Auto Sam, that are uh, enjoyed by a great number of people, yet are still labeled pesto, curiously. And Solis uh, sings. Good to know. Oh, mm, that makes me very happy. I'm hey, Benendum. I'm betting that means that there are absolutely some pesto pedants out there who are. Uh, who are in their uh, picks of pesto prepositions. Ha ha! Got there. That makes a, a nice, smooth sound, doesn't it, Cliff? I mean, Pat. Uh, 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 no, no, I'm not going to be delivered.
shit. Yeah, Alton Brown is is uh, one of my food daddies. Uh, but if you're looking for a if you're looking for a less controversial food daddy, uh, may I recommend Kenji Lopez Alt, who uh, definitely doesn't have the film background that Alton does, but sure as hell has the uh, education and scientific mind. So I know that Alton is uh, self-identifies as a conservative, but at least he doesn't seem, and this is a seem, to be toxically conservative. But then again, I don't know. I've mainly... Uh, only engaged with him on oh god damn it on a consumer of his content basis oh that's a transmission great can i get in there oh no no can i get in no mr president All right, let's keep it going. said as well, I, I will also... It's getting heavy. <laughs> but it's important to say about this sort of thing. Uh, past performance, uh, to, to put it in stock terms, past performance is not uh, an indicator of future gains. Uh, and that, that's to say that if, uh, if Elton has made, and it sounds like he absolutely has made some off Gonna say off. Some off joke jokes, and let's put those around uh, there. Uh, that's regrettable. That said, I haven't seen him repeat this behavior since the time I've been following him. So, yay. Hmm. I mean, I also did see that, that that kind of thing coming from the left about during the, uh, the Trump election. Tit for tat is not, uh, does not make right, of course, but. No, it's also not without standing, but yeah. Um, Sounds like I don't follow as much of him as I thought I did. But this is important too. This is important. It's important to talk about this kind of stuff and to talk about it openly and with an open mind.
And to that end, with this evidence, Alton Brown is certainly on notice with me. <laughs> that said, I absolutely do wish for a third season of Good eats reloaded. Mm. Oh, and yeah, that's another thing I should make absolutely clear. Do not take what I am saying as any advice about how you should feel about a person and your personal comfort level with people's uh, with people's past action and future action. You know, I, I haven't... I have not experienced what other people have experienced. And, you know, there's... I can certainly understand why certain behaviors and actions would make people extremely gun-shy of others. Extremely good points by Sarah there, too. The relationship between art and artist is complicated and different for all people. Because let me tell you what, I'm pretty sure there's a number of 90s anime fans out there who certainly don't talk about uh, a few different anime anymore. Thanks to the uh, actions of a number of mangaka. And, I'm, and I, that's all I'm saying on that. I'm not going into that, but... Turns out the world was, uh... Very supportive of some pretty... Or at least, uh... Not tolerant, but... Not engaging with some very terrible behavior in almost every field for a long time. <laughs> I think the, the more we talk about it, and the, well, the more that we talk about the fact that we are not going to tolerate it anymore, the better it's going to get. Because it's going to do one of two things. It's going to make people realize that they may not uh, have been making the best decisions with regards to their actions. And those people will either change their actions or will uh, simply choose not to be a part of the communities that uh, those of tolerant and discussive basis will. And then there are going to be those people who feel like Well, thankfully, they, they, they will no longer feel welcome in the company of people who are trying to get better. Because this is something that my father said to me as a child, and I always hated it, and I still kind of hate it, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong. There is always room for improvement. And as a species on so many levels, I absolutely believe that. Anyway, hey, uh, speaking of improvement, we're only 4.47 seconds off of our best time so far. And we're about to, is it, is it time? Yes! That was an actual Majima pass. Ha ha! Continuous, enthusiastic, 
improvement. Yeah, distant. Yeah. Echoes in the distance too fast. Whoa! DeLorean, uh, going back in time, it seems. Thank you for dropping those subs on the channel. Big appreciations for your uh, generosity to this wonderful community. Sainsbury's has posted a collection of imagery from their store brand packaging. Hello, yes. That absolutely tickles my design sense, Rockbusher. Thank you. I will uh, hopefully remember that when all this is over. It's apparently only 18 degrees outside, and yet I am currently sweating. Curious to find out what the temperature is right here, but I'll have to wait until I'm slightly uh, either stopped or going in a straighter line. Not now seems like a good time. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, 25 degrees. Ugh. One second, I'm going to open up some more, uh, some more windows here while we sit by the side of the road. Yeah, 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 let's get a cross breeze going. <clears throat> Men only want one thing, and it's ventilation. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Vic's uh, weather network says 15C. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. I'm getting 18C from Environment Canada right now on my watch. And as I said, 25 inside here from the, uh, the internal XOXO lamp. Yay, 38. That's no good. That's no good, Sarah. I think you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to keep that that uh, AC on constantly just to get your body's core temperature down. And hopefully, you can keep it down like a uh, like a thermos. I always like to think about heat in apartment buildings or even houses. I mean, any dwelling structure as, as heat debt. Not heat death, but heat debt. Uh, I, I suppose a better uh, term for this is thermal mass. But the idea that you want to keep your interior of your home as cool as possible for as long as possible because the minute you start, you let it then you let everything in your home get up to that ambient temperature. Oh boy, then it all is lost. You basically gotta wait till winter until it's uh until you can cool it down again. Uh-oh, there's chats about voltage going on in the chat. 
Uh, in answer to your question, Lady Elios, now that I've, uh, now that no one else has answered, driving's going really good. I'm, I'm feeling it right now. Uh, I think I got used to the, uh, the night and used to the, uh, the difference in setup. So, just so you're aware, I've done some changes to the setup here from where I, the way I usually stream or usually play, uh, with my wheel in front of the TV. Uh, and that is to say that I... Whee! I wee. No, uh, that, that is to say that I'm currently in an office chair uh, with things jacked up a bit, so there's a diff... I'm used to actually having my arms up higher, which is much less comfortable. We were in fifth gear. I'm sorry, Marty. I think we are beginning to lap you pretty regularly. Maybe you weren't the best addition to this race. Marty unlapped himself. Well, that's good for him. I, you know what? It wouldn't put it. I wouldn't put it past the uh, skin developers to do a little joke and top him out at 88 miles an hour. That's a money shift. That was bad. Yeah, the one problem with the office chair is I have to keep uh, cinching myself up to it. So otherwise the pedals are too far away. I may have uh, not uh, given them enough, or may have needed to pull them back due to the uh, driving position change, but things to remember for next year, right? Well, I think we're pitting right now anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I've got and towel under uh, one wheel, and that's doesn't seem to be enough, so maybe I'll grab a bigger one, see if that'll help. We'll give it a try. Just gotta stay on the road road. As opposed to sub road. A little bit of trail breaking there. And that was the uh, that was the break. Do not enter the pit with a fast butt. 
Yes, engine. Yes, suspension. Yes, body. Oh no, we broke it! We broke it in the pits! We're not gonna get there! God damn it! <sighs> okay, uh, you know what? Oh! Whew, I don't know when the last time we took an actual break was, but it's, uh, now seems like a good time, so... Folks, uh, I'm gonna get up, stretch my legs, swap the fluids, you do the same, and we'll be back with more, uh, of the 24 hours of Lermans in just a few minutes. Don't go away.